Погнали. Надо пока микрофон. Hello, hello. Hi, everyone. Uh, yeah, uh, please tell us a little bit about the quality, about the sound, there's, everything is okay. By the way, you all should know Daria. Hi. Yeah, from my YouTube ch or video about... Um, the State Fair? Yeah, the State Fair, right. Uh, so there is some kind of interview with Daria. Hello, hello. Oh. Hi, everyone. Oh, gosh, we got some... Uh, our stream on YouTube, okay. Everything is great. Mm. I can see it. Okay, we're gonna answer your comments today and then just, you know, discuss Russia, discuss US, difference, Some comparisons, yeah, similarities, and something like this. Hey, um, Edward Landgirl mm -hmm. uh, asked, is this a party girl that I was <laughs> talking about? No, actually, well, it's not Daria. Sorry to disappoint you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, 
Daria is not, I think, that crazy as Dasha. <laughs> One of the Russian party <laughs> girls. <laughs> I'm 20 now. Yeah, we all, I'm you know. I'm too old for this. Yeah, it's a third deca decade. Yeah. Oh my god, we're so old. Um, sounds great, quality is great. Um, Zach, I want a pizza. Oh, uh, <laughs> I think this is my friend from <laughs> Russia. Okay, anyway. Oh, we got already 20 viewers, which nice. is pretty nice. Okay, guys, just ask any questions you have. We, something we have something like an hour for streaming, uh, you know, answering your, qu answering your questions, discuss in Russia, and then we had to go to play some poker. <laughs> with <laughs> and our eat some pizza. Yeah, and eat some pizza, by the way. So, yeah. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> I just, I wanted to discuss... Also, you know, while answering those comments, I wanted to discuss something, uh, some things related to the U.S., like your experience in the U.S., mm -hmm. uh, cultural shocks that we both <laughs> have. Yeah, <laughs> actually, uh, we have a task. Like a video assignment that is a mm -hmm. mandatory part of our exchange program. Yeah. We have to make a video on culture shock. Yeah, and so we were actually discussing, oh, let's just upload this stream <laughs> <laughs> to the portal, like a discussion. Hi, Vitaly, if you're watching this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Um, no, I'm not disappointed. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Did you get home okay last night, last Sunday? Um, what did oh, you do last Sunday? Oh, actually, I was streaming from the Capitol building oh, yeah. at 10 yes. p.m., and I was going through downtown and everybody was staring at me. I, mm -hmm. I was kind of, I thought it's going to be more kind of like safer, so to say. <laughs> um, yeah, but I, yeah, I got home fine, as you can see. <laughs> I actually, He's alive. I actually, I actually took an Uber and there was a Ukrainian guy. Oh. Yeah. And we had a conversa conversation with him and he appeared a really interesting guy. He was like 50, I think. Mm -hmm. And he uh, just told me about his life. Uh, he migrated there a couple of, I mean, like 10 years ago, I think. Mm -hmm. And he was the member of the circus in Moscow. Uh, how do you call it? Like Circus of Nikulin Brothers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he was a, uh, how do you call it? Like gymnast. Gymna a gymnast. A gymnast, gymnast yeah. And they were kind of going around the U.S. Mm -hmm. with, uh, they had a big contract with mm -hmm. the U.S. And like. he decided to stay? Yeah, and he uh, went to almost every state here. Wow. Yeah, and he That's decided cool. to stay in Minnesota. Yeah, and we just discussed different things. That's really interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, Zach, uh, Zach, when will you come to Brazil? <laughs> oh, my gosh. When? Answer. And, yeah, I know I have question. to answer, but, you know, Brazil. Yeah, yeah I would like cool actually. Country. I know. Uh, I heard that Brazil is kind of culturally close to Russia. Yeah. I, I mean, think so, in, and in terms of mentality. Maybe. Yeah, and even my, like, student, to whom I teach Russian, mm -hmm. mean, uh, I don't think if mean he means here, because mm -hmm. he gonna, if he would be here, he actually would text something in the comment section. Anyway, uh, mean told me, like, that he went to Russian-speaking club in Canada, mm -hmm. in Toronto, and there were so many Latin guys from South uh, mm -hmm. America, and he was like, why are those guys mm -hmm. so interested in Russia? And, like, I think this is the only one reason, because we kind of, like, uh, familiar, I mean, similar mentally. Yeah, like, I think so, too. Yeah, with it maybe Mexico or, I yeah, don't know. Just Latin culture in yeah, general. Yeah, yeah. I think even, like, levels of our economies, Russian economies and, like, those country economies, they kind of... Yeah, I think we're even part of the same, like... In economic union, maybe. Oh, you should you should know whether mm. <laughs> maybe bricks, it's, maybe not. Yeah, well, I think yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay, hi from Australia. Oh, nice. Oh, hello. Uh, it should be I don't know like morning. No, yeah, it should be morning actually in Australia. So uh, it should be like eleven a.m. Do they have? A time zone similar to Russia, then? Uh, is my hometown, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, like, uh, all the time when I'm watching my time mm -hmm. zone, oh, yes. I'm looking to Sydney. Yep, yep. I'm not lying, guys. You can see... Uh, um, it's in Russian. Yeah, uh, it's in Russian, but mm -hmm. you can see it. Like, I have uh, four time zones. I hope we, you're going to see it. <laughs> now, yeah. So, here is Los Angeles, <laughs> New York, Moscow, and Sydney. You know Sydney? 
Why Sydney? Because my hometown doesn't really have locations on, mm-hmm. Google, on Apple Maps. So I just pick Sydney to know what time at my parents' mm-hmm. place. So it's kind of strange, a little. Okay. Um, what Russian music artist would you recommend, Daria? Oh, <laughs> my gosh. I have a very weird taste in music. So That's I fine. don't think I am up to any recommendations for now. Why? No, just... Uh, you need to know the genre first because we have many modern artists now. Okay. Some of them are good, <laughs> others are not. Okay, but what's your favorite one? I don't know. I didn't really listen to Russian music. Zemfira. Oh, Zemfira. Okay, she's, that's, that's she's classic. So cool. She just. Yeah. I don't know. She's part of our culture. Yeah, she's classic. Nowadays. Okay, Zemfira. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Uh, what else? What else about classic? Do I don't say? know. Honestly. Okay, maybe Kino Soy. Oh yeah, Soy Soy. Okay, I think many great, yeah. many of my viewers they know about Soy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I like his music too. Yeah. Uh, what else? Well, I personally like. I don't know maybe it's like boomer scene. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like B two, B two. Oh yeah. I yeah, agree. and Da Da Te. They are really actually those are from nineties. Like, they really. Right now, I think they're in the 50s or mm-hmm. 60s. Like, I mean, I mean, like the band is... Also? Oh, Splain, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. I don't really listen to... Uh, I haven't used to listen to Splain, but yeah, I've heard this. Just sometimes it's the mood. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Oh, what interesting. What else? I'm trying to remember. Pizza? There is such oh, a group pizza. in Russia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, I know just only one song by Pizza. It's yeah. like, yes, all that. Oh, I know the song called uh, An Elevator. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know this. I think Yes, All That is a famous thing, you know, yeah. song by them. Yeah, what else? Well, actually, if you just, if we kind of see and think, I think we can yeah, have a just, lot of ideas. Yeah, we can come up with a lot yeah. of things on Yeah, and event. actually, just an interesting fact, speaking about, you know, those bands, uh, <laughs> I have a book. Um, I hope I find it. Oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Uh, I have a book which uh, one of my subscribers actually he sent me here in the US. Is it in Russian? Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, it's a book in Russian. And I think there should be many like pictures with those bands in the 90s. Like the whole story. So mm-hmm. I went to Portland uh, with my friend Dasha. Oh my god, so many, <laughs> so many Dashas, <laughs> really. Yeah. And um, in Portland, I got a walk with my subscriber, Stan. Uh, Stan, if you're watching it, hey man, how's it going? <laughs> and so Stan, uh, we were like actually going around with us mm-hmm. through Portland, just showing us places. We had really few time, but anyway. Mm-hmm. And he appeared to be an American who was born in Soviet Union. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't really remember for what cause, but he was born mm-hmm. in Soviet Union, but he solely was American mentality, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> and so he just he said that uh, he read a really interesting book about American. Um, I don't know, some kind of journalist. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I don't really... Joanna Stingray, that's mm-hmm. her name. And he was like, oh, you know, I, I know you like this mm-hmm. kind of music. And I have a book which she actually sent me because he wrote her a letter oh. and she wrote this book. Mm-hmm. And he uh, she sent this to him and he was like, yeah, you need to read it. <laughs> and he sent me this, like this book. Uh, it's called like Stingray в стране чудес, like... Uh, I'm in the Wonderland. Yeah, and actually, he also printed me a bookmark with my YouTube see? channel. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh. uh, it's like printed on 3D. Oh That's yeah, awesome. we can. Oh yeah, we can show a little bit closer. Yeah. <laughs> so this is so cool, and this book is about you know uh, those bands mm-hmm. who were really popular in the end of 80s mm-hmm. and the start of 90s, except of rap music. Yeah. And there is a, even she met even Soy there. Oh. Uh, I think like a little bit earlier before uh, the rest of the mm-hmm. bands which are mentioned in this mm-hmm. book, but still. So actually, I haven't started reading it, <laughs> read it uh, to read it. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Spasium Mir, save the world. I don't know. I just opened a random picture here. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> so it should be really interesting. I hope to read it while I'm here. Not to be lazy. <laughs> okay, um, well, we have more comments that we... Many, many more comments that we haven't answered. Yeah. You want to read some? a question. Uh, what's your favorite city in the U.S. so far? Oh, 
Okay, uh, my favorite city is Seattle. But I mean, you know, I've been only to Seattle, Portland, and Salt Lake City. I can't really, you know, kind of compare those mm. and say like, oh, this is the best city in the U.S. Because I don't really have this experience of exploring it. I think Seattle definitely is one of my my favorite one because I really like the weather there. You know, it's like like uh, the mixture of like um, city, like mm -hmm. really modern city, those skyscrapers and the nature because mm -hmm. Seattle is uh, kind of like around it by uh, ocean mm -hmm. I mean like it's like bay mm -hmm. area and there are a lot of mountains when you fly into Seattle there are a lot, of, a lot of mountains and I like those pine trees who are kind of like really I mean like they really fit this location this mm -hmm. place so I really like Seattle and also people people mm -hmm. are really nice oh have you told you about uh, the Russian guys that I met in Seattle no. oh really it was so uh, it actually was kind of when it was strange mm -hmm. like uh so i went there with my russian friend dasha who is also yeah. a participant of our year yeah. sugar exchange program uh five and so i came five hours before and mm -hmm. she was going to come to fly over five hours later mm -hmm. and so um i was just going around and i, only, I, I actually even had the stream mm -hmm. on, from my phone you can actually check it out on youtube if you want to <laughs> yeah Anyway, and I was like, oh, I need to meet Dasha because mm -hmm. we has to go to couch surfing guy to yeah. host who gonna host us, and so um, I went to downtown for uh, you know the green lines from airport, and my phone actually died, almost died, like f in my internet connection started to lose. You know, downtown mm -hmm. it happens a lot, and so I just was going around looking for this street mm -hmm. or is this metro station. Mm -hmm. And I, I found, like, people in the park playing chess. I'm really into chess. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to watch it. <laughs> this <laughs> oh. is a very Russian thing, yeah. by the way. Oh, yeah. A, a lot of Russians playing chess, I think. And we have a really strong traditions, I think, yeah. from Soviet Union. Yeah. And so um, I went just watching chess. And there were, like, some people playing. It was really interesting. Because in Russia, it's not really, you know, often a scene to see. Yeah. And so I was just watching those chess, and I was like, oh, yeah, I need to meet Dasha, of course. <laughs> She's coming from airport. Poor Dasha, yeah. forgotten by you. Yeah, and I was like, I'll need to ask somebody yeah. uh, who knows where this station yeah, is true. located. And there is a first person that sat next to mm -hmm. me. I was like, came across and, he, and I answered, do you know where this station is mm -hmm. located? And he was like, he answered me with a really, really strong yeah, Russian, Russian accent. accent. Yes. yes. And yes. I was like, are you Russian? Yes, I am. You, uh, 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 he was like, how do you know? <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, funny yeah, and it's I, so easy to guess. Yeah, the and I was like, because I'm also Russian, mm. uh, and we switched to Russian. Mm -hmm. And he, the first question he asked me, "Atkuda ti?" Like, where are you from? Mm -hmm. And I said, uh, "You know, I, I'm, I'm kind of like when, when somebody asks me where I'm from, I'm saying from Khabarovsk." Mm -hmm. yeah. But I'm actually originally from Komsomolsk no more. But nobody knows about my mm -hmm. city. Everybody knows about Khabarovsk. And I told Khabarovsk, and he was like. I, I'm also from Khabarovsk. <laughs> and I was like, come on, you are the first person to whom I speak in Seattle. Mm -hmm. And you are Russian and you are from my... <laughs> what a almost, coincidence. Almost, oh, yeah, yeah, what a coincidence. And I was like, oh, Dasha, whatever. I just <laughs> took my chair. I just took my <laughs> Dasha, chair. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> yeah, I just took my chair and I talked to him for uh, 50 minutes. Oh. Yeah, Dasha actually, she somehow found me on the streets <laughs> just randomly. <laughs> yeah, really. She could feel the Russian vibe yeah, coming off you guys. Yeah, and it was a really interesting guy because he was like, I think, 65 or 68. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, he told me about his like history, um, mm -hmm. like his biography. Uh, he immigrated to the U.S., uh, in 90s, 96, mm -hmm. I think. I think a lot of people did. Yes, but he did it, like, for real reasons. Yeah. Not because, you know, uh, well, just for real reasons. You you will understand right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so, he told me, like, back in Soviet time, uh, back in 90s, he was a musician teacher mm -hmm. of classical guitar mm -hmm. in some kind of Khabarovsk University. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had a really cool, good apartment. He had a, you know, can you imagine, like, three floors apartment. Ooh. Fancy. Three floors. I don't really, like, I don't know people who has something like this. <laughs> and, does. Yeah, well, of course. Well, <laughs> he yeah. He has, like, 20 floors. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> well, he can have, like, 
uh, how yeah, how many whole Skype screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think like if she wa- if he wants to, yeah. yeah. Anyway, it's not about this. And so uh, he uh, he was going to sell this mm-hmm. uh, apartment building, uh, not building but apartments, mm-hmm. to invest in some kind of business with mm-hmm. his friend. And when some, you know, bratki, like uh, mm. criminal guys. Gangsters. Yes, gangsters, Russian gangsters. There were a lot of them in the 90s. Mm. When they did uh, know that he's selling his apartments, mm. they actually, like, broke, he, uh, they came to his place. They broke mm. the door. They took him, uh, I mean, like, they the throw him force. in the... Yeah, and they throw him in the, you know, the back of the car. And they went out of the city. It was the middle of the, of the like, winter. Mm-hmm. It was really cold. And he was like wearing almost nothing and they just thrown his away and he say like i remember how they like um put put a gun to my stomach mm-hmm. and they said like you you just uh write um sign, sign this paper mm-hmm. that kind of like um move your rights on the apartments to us and so he just had to do this and so he just uh, also gave his last ten thousand dollars that he has uh that he had mm-hmm. and in a couple of days, he fl- flew to Moscow. Mm-hmm. In in a couple of weeks, he just flew to the U.S. Mm. Yeah, it so does make sense. yeah, it was actually a pretty cool, pretty like deep story when mm-hmm. I heard it because mm-hmm. you know, um, I I was like, there are so many people right now living in Russia, mm-hmm. and many people left Russia before because of because of you know political situation, such things, and this is just crazy. I mean, yeah. But it was really interesting. It, it was a really big coincidence, yeah. like that we met each other. Like the first person to whom I speak in uh, spoken to Seattle mm-hmm. in Seattle was Russian from my hometown, almost <laughs> my hometown. It was really strange. <laughs> <laughs> I have a similar situation. Oh really? Uh, when I was in Chicago, we went to their Institute of Art, mm-hmm. and there was uh, like a senior artist mm-hmm. who was. Uh, reproducing um, the picture on the wall uh-huh. and uh, I was with a couple of my Russian friends and we were speaking Russian mm-hmm. of course and we were actually discussing him and saying things like oh my gosh his painting is so good <laughs> and then he turns and he starts speaking Russian oh gosh <laughs> turns out uh, he's from the Czech Republic and oh. he immigrated but uh, he can obviously understand Russian oh yeah yes it was a little bit of embarrassing but <laughs> Uh, at the same time fascinating yeah oh interesting mm-hmm. uh i don't think i'm gonna be able to understand totally czech people's speech yeah because they have like uh different grammar patterns yeah but they can understand russian yeah they can oh interesting i think polish people can do this yeah too. can you understand by the way ukrainian sometimes i have hard time yeah. understanding what they're saying but um, some people can for example i have a friend who uh, who is constantly watching those ukrainian Mm. crazy tv shows (laughs) and she understands everything oh really yeah while i don't uh, grasp even like 50 percent maybe she'll learn it by watching those crazy yeah apparently (laughs) (laughs) this is how you learn ukrainian language (laughs) okay interesting yeah oh there is many many comments that we haven't asked or uh, answered so we're gonna do this Let's right see. now um the circus is pretty late but they don't always treat the animals too well i agree 100 percent animal yeah. rights animal rights right mm. is it an original Van Gogh? <laughs> somebody <laughs> sure. somebody mentioned Van Gogh. okay of course of course mm-hmm. you know uh, actually, I've heard some of the paintings, original paintings of mm-hmm. Wangak. They're located in Moscow, yeah. in Pushkin's uh, yep. museum. Yeah, so, you know, I just took it from Moscow. <laughs> oh, actually, uh, s- uh, my host mom's friends mm-hmm. yesterday, she saw this and she was like, oh, you'll need a, a photo f- a frame for this. Oh, <laughs> I was like, well, it's just a poster. That would be a big photo frame. Yes, it's going to be a like, huge photo frame. The exhibit was great. I liked yeah. it a lot. Yeah, yeah. If you're somewhere close to Minnesota, in Minnesota, M- Minneapolis, yeah, especially, Minneapolis. you should go. It's called Van Gogh Immersive. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we got sixty-six viewers. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. <laughs> uh, hi, Zach. Portland is here. It's a lovely day. Yeah. Bill Huntington. Ah, uh, how do you read it? 
Hunnicutt? Hunnicutt? Hunnicutt, yeah. I think, sorry if we <laughs> Yeah, I, always, always, when I'm reading, you know, mm-hmm. his names, I'm sorry. We are not really taught uh, mm-hmm. phonetics yeah. at Russian schools when we study English, so we have trouble <laughs> <laughs> pronouncing the surnames. Uh, man, you were so close to the bar last week where they had the gun flight fight. What bar did you went? I, I didn't went to bar. I was in a Capitol building. I don't know. Maybe there is some kind of like secret bar in Capitol building. I, I don't think so. And yeah. I haven't heard about any shootings in St. Paul. Me too. Uh, so maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe he was talking about last yeah. time when you went to with Dasha to uh, dance. I don't know. Was it a bar? But I haven't heard about any shootings in Minneapolis. Well, I they think, do happen sometimes. Yeah, I know. But I mean like... I think we would hear hear about it at least. Huh, okay, who knows? Know. If you know something, just... Yeah, just... You can yeah. elaborate on that. Yeah. Um, what do you think of... <laughs> oh, my God. What do you think of Morgenstern? <laughs> I haven't listened to any song of his, so uh, I'm not a good... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for those who don't doesn't know, Morgenstern is a um, I don't know ro- Russian Lil Pump or Russian Six Nine like kind of shitty rapper, uh, which I don't really like. <laughs> and he like every kid in Russia right now is listening to yeah. Morgenstern, even like outside. I remember like you just you just you know sitting in, uh, close to to the window, yeah. and you hear this yes, Morgenstern tracks. Yeah. So you're just looking up, and there are like ten or ten year old kids listening to the song about drugs like sex and stuff and i was like what the fuck is going on oh my god um well uh have you all heard of imperial age uh russian symphonic metal imperial yeah age. I-, I get i just don't i don't think so <laughs> i don't think so it should Virginia. be really underground yeah australia is 10 30 a.m East Coast summertime. Okay. Good. Uh, I'd like to go to Australia sometime, but I'm yeah, just scared of spiders <laughs> and being drowned by a kangaroo. Do they have really like those huge, you know, spiders? I don't know. It's just I was bit by a spider in oh. Texas, and it wasn't a very pleasant experience. Oh gosh! It was a big spider. I don't know, it's just my leg was so swollen, it was actually twice the size of my normal ankle. Mm. And I first thought that I sprained it, mm-hmm, mm. or maybe something happened to it, but then my friends was just like, oh, uh, you got bit by a spider. <laughs> oh I was gosh. like, okay, nice. So you haven't seen the spider? No, oh I gosh. have not. Okay, because, you know, it's worse than you see a spider yeah, like... But <laughs> once I found a scorpion in my bed, like underneath the sheets, yeah. Oh my god. Okay, guys, no taxes for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Somebody... it's actually it's a very nice state, and oh, okay. there is a very beautiful mm, national park mm-hmm. called Big Bend. Big Bend, so okay. Yeah, and uh, this is basically uh, a desert called mm. Terlingua, and it's so beautiful. It's actually uh, there is a natural border between Mexico and Texas. It's okay. a river. So if you cross this river, you can actually go to Mexico. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay, interesting. Have you been to Mexico? By accident? No, nope, unfortunately, <laughs> because uh, at that time, uh, I was there in August 2017, 18. Oh, and you were like and 17 or 16? Yeah, I was uh, 16 or 17. Oh. And uh, the river was too muddy for us to cross. Oh, I got it. So, oh. yeah. Okay, interesting. Um, Zach, <laughs> Battlefield, Call of Duty, or CSGO? Uh, Is it some gamer? Yeah, slang? yeah, gaming, gaming related. CSGO, of course, guys. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm Russian. I can't answer it the other way. Just CSGO. Only CSGO. Uh, hi, uh, Debbie Crisp. Hi there, you guys. Watching from England. It's just after midnight here. First live stream I ever managed to catch. Love your videos. Thank you so much, Debbie. Yeah, and welcome <laughs> That's to the stream. So sweet. Yeah, I, I I don't remember you in, in previous live streams chat, so yeah, <laughs> I just know it. Oh, she's new. Um, Philippe Borba, the Alexander of Assembly playing Katusha is the best. Do you know Alexander of Assembly? Like, 
the musical band. Not band, but I mean like some I kind of Katusha, orchestra. Though. No, no, it's actually like uh, yeah, Katusha, of course. Alexandra Assembly. I don't know, like what's Assembly? It's some some kind of orchestra, maybe in Moscow. Yeah, I think. Or Saint Petersburg. Some folk stuff. Maybe. Yeah. We are not very great at <laughs> different music genres. Sorry, uh -huh. guys. What's the name of the book? Uh, one more time. It's called like Stingray in Stingray, Stingray, Stingray in, in uh, Wonderland. Wonderland. Yeah. yeah, there is actually a double name in English, so you can check it out. I think there should be an English version. Um, Sky Grain is a dope '90s hardcore band from Moscow. <laughs> Sky <laughs> so Grain. We are probably going to get a lot of recommendations <laughs> yeah. of Russian music. <laughs> and there is also "Волшебство живой природы," the magic of nature by Aldwind is really good oh, from no. Russia too. If you like atmospheric stuff. Okay. Okay, "Волшебство живой природы." I feel природы. like we should be taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> actually, uh, the whole live chat is, you know, recorded. Mm -hmm. So. I have you heard of Ksenia Butina? Uh, I think maybe she's like some kind of... Artist? Not really. I think she was involved in some kind of a scam. I'm not sure. Um, there is no information on Google, so... Um, no ideas. Um, it's uh, some kind of like artist or... I don't think so. So. Okay, we'll need some more information in the comments. <laughs> Maybe Definitely. I I heard something about a girl, uh, a Russian girl who was pretending to be uh, a daughter of a very oh uh, yeah rich person. yeah I heard so about I it. thought that it was her. Oh, it was but her. But I'm, I'm not sure. No, um, I don't. I'm not very good with names. So. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't know. It's a it's a hard one. <laughs> okay. Um, did you enjoy your visit to Seattle, my home? Oh, Bob. Hey. Yeah, of course, and I'm gonna visit Seattle one more time while here. Yeah, I'm go I'm gonna visit there one more time because I really liked it. It's really cool. And and you are and you are and you are and and just, hi. hi everyone. Hi. Yeah. Oh, there is one more question to you. You can actually check it out. Uh, I'll need to check something just real quick. Yep. Just. Uh, I have some problems with the chat. It's not. Oh, it doesn't turn on? Uh, no, it, it is on. It's just I can't see the updates. I'll try one more time. No, there's something weird going oh, on. Oh, we got a na donation from Harvey Hodkins. Uh, Hodkins. Which tell uh, let's go, Hodgins. Brandon. <laughs> let's go, Brandon. By the way, all of the donations today, they're going to be splitted. Oh. So... <laughs> Yeah, make it's sure it's okay. Yes. Uh, Harvey Hodgins, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. I'm sorry for checking it out late. It's kind of it was like nine minutes ago, but I th I th I hope you're still here. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. It's gonna come for it's gonna go for Putin's re-election. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure we donate your money. Can you show me the question? Oh, uh, it working. doesn't work. I'm mm -hmm. still. Uh, oh, um, did you? Uh, wait. Mm -hmm. Daria, have you been? Searching for Brian Laundry? Nope. What is this? I don't know. What? So obviously I have not been searching for that. We can Google it. Uh yeah, we can Google it. Um Brian The last name sounds familiar. I just I don't know. Brian Laundry. Oh yeah. Uh, this is the boyfriend of Gabby Petito. She was found dead like a couple of weeks ago. Um, I don't know anything about this story. Can you tell me Just, about it? Um, uh, this girl went missing. They were supposed to go on a trip together uh, uh -huh. somewhere in the national park, but before that, they had a fight apparently, uh -huh. and it was actually interrupted by the police. They told. Uh, I think they told him to go spend the night in a hotel while she stayed in the car. Uh -huh. And then uh, there was like no connection with them, uh, with their relatives. And a couple of weeks later, she was found dead. Oh, gosh. In, in the park. And uh, after that, he became the main suspect. And apparently they found him. I don't know, because they have been trying to track him for a while now. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, oh, 
So they were like dating or they were yeah, married? Yeah, they, they were, I think they're almost engaged or oh, engaged. Oh, I see. Yeah. Where was it? Like Texas? Nope, not really Texas, but somewhere. Nevada? Like, yeah. Uh, interesting. I don't know what, what actually, uh, what relations it does have to Daria. <laughs> 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 Looking for that guy because, you know, she is not a cop. Yeah, but I like to keep up to date with the news. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Um, are you coming to any cities in the southern U.S.? Mm, I've been to Texas this time. Like, so uh, you missed the opportunity, I went guys. there two weeks ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to be in Florida, but this is just a six-hour layover. So oh, okay. I won't be staying there long. Yeah. Oh, we are going to be in Las Vegas, but still, it's a small yeah. layover. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to visit South uh, South Carolina. I don't I don't know if it's considered the southern southern state. I think, yeah. Yeah. Do you consider South Carolina <laughs> southern state? Just interesting. So I'm gonna visit in my aunt actually. She's living in uh, South Carolina. So yeah. Um. Play Chorney Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> I actually was showing it to my viewers on the previous streams. <laughs> really? Yeah, <laughs> and they were watching. How do you come up with this uh, thing? I don't really remember, but something came up. <laughs> now this is going to be stuck in my head forever. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, I was listening to this song when I was like five years ago, yeah. five years old, and my aunt, she was a teenager at this mm -hmm. old. She was, uh, she was like sixteen, mm -hmm. and she was listening like Choi and the Boomer all the all day, like on the repeat, oh. on repeat. And I was like, yeah, hell, hell yeah. Oh um, gosh, that's so funny. I'm from Minneapolis and I, I love it. Though I've heard people talking how beautiful Seattle is. Oh, India, India, Andy, India, India, India. Adventures. Cool. I've got so many subscribers from Minnesota and nobody want to hang out with me or with us. <laughs> Come on, let's hang out. Just show us something you like. Something that, oh, you're you're Dasha Daria. I'm sorry. She should speak Spanish a little. So there is a comment in Spanish, <laughs> and we it's a perfect opportunity because we have a Spanish speaker here. Not speaker, but I mean like learner. So there is something about success. <laughs> it's not. Uh, Spanish. Spa oh it's, my. A, it's Italian. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm, you know, what, guess what's my major? <laughs> Linguistics, of course. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. I, I think it's Italian, but by the way, my roommate at uh, the Russian dorm speaks Italian. Oh, okay. Yeah, so every time I start uh, telling her something about Spanish, she's like, oh yeah, we have the same thing in Italian. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm a professional Italian. Um, well, wow, um, yeah, that's a lot of comments. Yeah, I, actually, we are really, really, you know, uh, we're really slow, going slowly, but we'll try to go well, fast. Well, mine don't download at all, so. Um, yeah, let me, let me see. Um, that's funny, when I went to Amsterdam on vacation, the first stranger I met was someone from my hometown is in the US. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, yeah, so you should understand me, like, how strange it is. Um... If you liked Washington State, you will like uh, British Columbia and mm. Canada. Uh, even better. Don't tell the Americans, though. <laughs> I would love to go to Canada. Yeah, it's me just, too. The temptation, the temptation is so great because we are so close to Canada and yet we cannot travel there. Yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, is Toronto located in British Columbia? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Komsomolsk on Amur was created by Soviets. It's about something about my hometown. Sure. Hence the name Komsomolsk from Komsomol to hold the workers of the famous Suhoi factory re, uh, where they built all those jets. Okay, it was wow. a really... You yeah. have some knowledgeable subscribers. Yes, actually I had a video about explaining mm -hmm. everything, mm -hmm. but they've deleted my video because uh, of copyright okay. issue. And it was so random. It wasn't even about music. Mm -hmm. Copyright issue was about... Um, I paste the poem about gulags. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I actually them. mentioned gulags in this mm -hmm. video. Because in my hometown, yeah, sure. there were many. Uh, there was a big uh, mm -hmm. gulag for building the city mm -hmm. in uh, four days, and so I've paste the lyrics with a song, and I've got you know 
there is different kinds of strikes on YouTube. Mm -hmm. The first one, when YouTube uh, automatically mm -hmm. bans it, mm -hmm. and you know, you, you just don't get monetization mm -hmm. for the video. And the uh, other one, which is kind of more like uh, powerful, mm -hmm. that's a direct stri uh, strike by author. Mm -hmm. And you know, the author of this uh, poem, he's like 90. Oh. Well, he's still alive, mm, yeah, okay. and he's 90, and I was like, hell, hell no, nobody gonna, you know, mm, strike sure. it. And somebody uh, who's named by this uh, author mm -hmm. actually striked it, and I got deleted video because mm. of it. It's freaking crazy. Um, what do you think you will miss the most of America when you leave? Roads, grass, people, etc.? Uh, I think it's people. Yeah. It's just the atmosphere of being yeah. part of a community, of being embraced. Mm -hmm, I don't know, mm -hmm. just we have a very liberal and diverse college and mm -hmm. uh, even the, the whole atmosphere is so welcoming. Yeah, and I think like in general, even out of college, yeah. like everybody is really so positive, and so friendly. And hearted yeah. Yeah, I kind of miss it in Russia. Yeah, me yeah. too. Like people are so friendly, like welcoming. So yeah, I have like uh, I had uh, a reverse cultural shock when I came back from the U.S. to Russia, uh, because I was so used to always smiling in the oh. U.S. to random people, and when I uh, first came into a Russian store, everyone was wearing a poker face, <laughs> and I was like, oh, my spirits were so different. Oh gosh, actually, yeah. like my friend. Uh, all of my subscribers should know this, uh, should know her, uh, Natasha. She also uh, a participant of Year mm -hmm. Four program, mm -hmm. and she also been to Minnesota. She has a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. This is why everybody knows her. And she told me like after coming back from the U.S., she spent eight eight months in the mm -hmm. U.S. months, and so she told like for two uh, months. She had something like really de big depression yeah. because of you know. Uh, also, she lives in a really small home uh, town which is like 40,000 people, which is actually just dying. Mm -hmm. And she was like from uh, really like blossoming Minneapolis. She came there to Spask Dalny and she was really upset about it. So I, d I don't, I can't really imagine how, you know, we're gonna feel it. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, Seventh Street, oh, uh, about shooting in Minneapolis, mm -hmm. oh, in St. Paul. Seventh Street, uh, street drug bar, three arrested, 15 shot, one woman died a block away from Excel Energy Center, happens last night. Excel Energy Center is in St. Paul. Oh, you know this? Yeah. Actually, it's really? like, uh, it's not very far from our college. I pass it every day when oh, I really? walk. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, oh. You can just open the map. Oh, yeah, I think, oh, I actually was passing this place. Yes. At what time was it? Uh, what time was it? Because I was passing this place at something like, I don't know, 8.30. Oh. And maybe in that time they were just they were just shooting. What? What? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Shooting in St. Paul. We're going to Google it because, <laughs> you know, it's really interesting. Yeah, because we haven't heard about them. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. 50 people shot. Well, oh why gosh. did this new came like um, 58 minutes ago? I think this is just an update. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, created October 10th. Mm. So, okay. Um, nothing about date. Oh, it no. was 12 a.m., so it was pretty, you know, Close. midnight. Well, close, but not mm -hmm. not that far. Like I, th I thought like it was like a couple of minutes yeah. when I uh, came. Oh, interesting. I don't remember this place, but I, I remember mm, this yes. like the whole uh, the area. Yeah. Oh gosh, you never know when you're gonna mm. you know <laughs> get yeah. into shooting in the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Um, Zach, I'm curious about the massive forest fires in Russia. I was wondering if Russia has a good forestry forestry service. Does the National Guard or equivalent fight to fire Russian fire larger than the U.S.? What do you think? Mm, I think that they do make some effort. It's just it depends on, on I think. Uh, people's personal approach to nature because in mm -hmm. some regions like Lake Baikal mm -hmm. people are really conscious about 
and conscientious about protecting the environment. Yeah. So I think that uh, when there were fires in Siberia, a lot of locals tried to help. Mm -hmm. So uh, the initiative comes from people. But uh, I'm not sure about the quality of our mm -hmm. like state yeah. skill services because I have not, I don't know anyone mm -hmm. from this area. Yeah. Unfortunately. I know that they use a lot of helicopters and a lot of like mm -hmm. sophisticated equipment when they yeah. want to. So. Um, you know, I'm from the region which is kind of close to um, those regions where there's mostly yeah. a lot of fires. And uh, what people, like local people, mm -hmm. they have an opinion, like, that it's even profitable for somebody to burn those trees to, I mean, like, in uh, not to burn totally, but to start the fire, because, you know, there are many people who are selling, actually, oh, yeah. like, forests. and they try to cover yeah. the aerial extent. Yes, yep. yes, I so they want, to they want to kind of, like, uh, make a false reason to cut those trees mm -hmm. to sell it. Yeah. And so many people like starting to do this for mm -hmm. in a little scale, mm -hmm. but then it became a huge fire. Yeah, because it's hard to yeah. suppress one. Yeah, and so started. I mm. think it's uh, one of the reasons, but I'm not quite sure, you know, it's a kind of hard topic. No, I, I heard this theory too, also, so yeah. it's quite popular. Yeah, so I don't know, like every year it happens actually. Yeah, in, so like, it's just maybe... Uh, our forest fires do not get enough media coverage, so yeah, people maybe. don't really know about them, but they uh. do happen quite frequently, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that's a really interesting question. Yeah. I'm glad that you asked. Uh, if you like Seattle, you would love Vancouver, Canada. Yeah, actually, <laughs> it's really close to. Yeah. <laughs> <It's just laughs> yeah, in any case, we would love uh, Canada. It's very bittersweet feeling yeah. now because we can't go there. Yeah, actually, Vancouver is really close to Seattle. Yeah. It's a little bit to the north, maybe 200 kilometers. Mm -hmm. uh, Vancouver definitely doesn't suck. Okay. <laughs> we believe you. Um. Mm, uh, North Vancouver has some of the best mountain biking in the mm. world. Okay, good to know. That's an interesting <laughs> fact. Uh, Zach, do you know about the Dyatlov Pass incident? Dyatlov Pass? Yeah, uh, Pirival Dyatlov. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we're familiar with this, but I don't think we can tell something more about it. I mean, like something like extra historical. Yeah, because they haven't figured uh, it yeah. out themselves yet. So yeah, so there are many like conspiracy, conspiracy yeah. theories. Yep. So, so even something connected with Yetis. <laughs> I, I read stuff like this. Oh uh, yeah, question for Zach from Bill Huntington. Mm -hmm. uh, anything for all of your exchange, <laughs> all your exchange student. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, why can't you drive a car here in the US? Mm. Because our program just ban it, ban it. We can't drive any kind of vehicle. Beca I think it's just to prevent us from getting into yeah. legal lawsuits or mm -hmm. incidents. So yeah, they just don't want to, you know, be responsible for yeah. all those accidents, for to have some kind of relationship with insurances yeah, and stuff. Yeah, and uh, I think there would be an issue with yeah, our and I think government's relations. I too. think it's even actually a good idea uh, yeah. if, if I would actually be, be an advisor, organizer, organizer yeah. of, the comp of the exchanger program. Because, you know, some people, like Dasha... <laughs> <laughs> Not like, me. Yeah, another one, like par Party Girl, <laughs> as you named her. We didn't do this, you know, this you did it. So they can drive, and it's kind of scary. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, is she... Okay, anyway, we, we won't <laughs> discuss anymore. I uh, don't have a driver's license because I'm scared to drive. Oh. I don't... I, I cannot feel like the size of the car so oh, but I, I, I just prefer not to <laughs> uh, okay i think like uh every people like when they start they don't really yeah. feel it but it comes with practice yeah. i can drive a mm -hmm. car but i mean like in russia uh i, I was driving just a little bit because you know yeah. i don't have license yeah. in russia but i was trying to get one before leaving to the u.s mm -hmm. but it wasn't really successful anyway <laughs> um South Carolina is considered southern state, okay. also known as being in the deep south. Okay, perfect. Yes. Deep south. Uh, south Carolina is not the deep south. <laughs> deep south is Mississippi okay. and Alabama. Okay, we have two genders. So <laughs> choose your fighter. Yeah, choose your fighter, guys. Um, 
then go move there. It's about Canada, maybe. Um, yeah, maybe. As you wish. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's hard to establish the connection between uh, the comment and what we said. Okay, th here's something about uh, in Spanish, I think. Instead, uh, uh, something yeah. about Dacha. Felipe is asking whether uh, I can speak Spanish. Si, sí. uh, puede, puede hablar español, pero desafortunadamente uh, mi español es muy mal. <laughs> Okay, okay so not this bad, is, not bad. This is my maximum. Like. <laughs> well, it was actually, I wouldn't uh, recognize if you were Russian or something, if you would speak it uh, randomly because, somewhere. Uh, my Spanish professor says that we copy uh, the speaking patterns from English. Oh. So, w basically, we speak Spanish with an English accent. I oh, don't know. really? Yeah. It, I, I'm really curious how does it like what's the difference between like Russian and, and English my accent? And Russian teacher said the same, oh, okay. so that Russians copy the accent of the language, the foreign languages that they know. Oh, it's I, I funny. I am not sure whether it has some scientific <laughs> justification, but it's a very funny and weird oh, fact. Okay, okay. Um, you two seems to be such nice young people. Very glad you are visiting the US. I oh. hope you both have a great stay here. You both Thank have such you great smiles. Much. Thank you. Thank so you so kind of much. You. Yeah. Oh my god, I love those comments. Um Okay, um not sure why I'm here, but cute Russian girl lead me there, so it can't be bad night. And hello everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh is Daria also from the far east of Russia? Uh, not really. I'm more in. Uh, I'm actually uh, geographically in the middle of Russia. It's yeah. like uh, my hometown is located on the border between uh, Europe and Asia. Yeah. Oh, well, you wanna? Uh, what if we you show your like your hometown? Sure. Like yeah. we can say we can actually uh, Google it's Nizhny Tagil. Yeah, Nizhny Tagil. This is uh, how my hometown is called yeah uh, like in english it's gonna be like nizhny tagil, tagil. Yeah. so it's located just in the middle of russia yeah. almost like it's like uh it's the administrative border between the european and the asian part yeah so, yeah and it's also located in the ural mountains mm -hmm. which are mm -hmm. very old and um, yeah they okay. are basically decaying right now uh -huh. they are mm, decreasing in height oh so pretty cool to Ekaterinburg. yeah to this Perm. is where uh, the other dasha is from <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh yeah uh, how what's population in uh, uh, 360,000 people oh so it's not yeah. that huge it actually no. it's it's uh, a little bit bigger than Kansas. oh yeah it says here like uh, oh yeah 358 uh, oh, okay there is one uh, more oh. <laughs> that's fine yeah Okay, we're gonna watch some pictures because I'm really curious. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> why? <laughs> why is so It's just oh. uh, we are in industrial town, so uh, my town is not very picturesque, but it has some sh charm to it. I think. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there is a re what's what's the river that goes? Uh, it's not the river. It's an artificial pond. It was created for the factory so that it oh, could really? use the water resources. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, it seems like... This oh, is uh, the, really the old like factory. Uh, uh, this one? Picture. Yes, this is, the, like, the oldest factory in my uh, hometown. Whoa, really? Yep. What what kind of factory is this? Uh, it's just something connected with metals. Oh, and I now see. Now we have a factory that produces all kinds of stuff, uh, mm -hmm. especially for trains. Oh, we, I see. And we still have a factory that produces tanks. Mm, wow. And it played a crucial role during the World War II because many uh, factories from the central part of Russia that were occupied were moved to mm -hmm. our region mm -hmm. so that they would continue operating. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Well, I've heard like the whole region uh, where Yekaterinburg mm -hmm. and Nizhny Tagil is really po uh, famous for this like metal yeah, factory. Metal like production. Yeah. Metal production, right. Interesting. Well, I would like to visit like all those. I've never been to this part <laughs> All of this beauty. <laughs> I mean, like, this region, because I've never been to uh, yeah. this region. I've been to only this part mm. and only this part, and uh, nothing in the middle. The farthest point I've been to is Lake Baikal. Oh, really? Yeah, so just this area. Yep. 
Oh yeah, okay. It's very beautiful over there. Okay, I think many of my viewers they actually would like to go to yeah. Baikal because it's really interesting. Okay, okay. Um, well, we have some more. So, Zach, when will you start going to gym? A true Russian guy must go to gym. You what do you think about those stereotypes? <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm going to. Have you yeah. seen those, you know, muscles? <laughs> <laughs> actually, I'm going to the gym, but right now, uh, my um, not roommates, but I mean, like guys, Afghanistan guys who rent in basement in the, my host family house, they're not going there, so I'm, not, I'm also not going there. Mm -hmm. But I'm running every day. Mm, and that nice. that is also running, right? Yeah, I'm jogging occasionally. Yeah, Ru Russian time. strong, you know? yeah. <laughs> Russian team. Um, have you all gone to a college football game yet? Uh, I haven't been to one. Yeah, I I only been to a baseball game, not mm -hmm. related to college. Yeah. So we don't really we don't uh, really have a team in college. Yeah, because it's too small. It's a really small college, so. Yeah, but I don't really understand the rules of either baseball or f American football. You know, yeah, I've been to baseball and I understand the thing like 20% yeah, of what's like, going on. Uh, it's an interesting part of a cultural experience, yeah. but we don't really get uh, uh -huh. the point of it. Yeah. Oh, Matthew. <laughs> Matthew, yeah. they're oh, called yeah. the guy that's going to host uh, Daria and her friend in New Thank York you City. Very much, is this one of the way. girls that is coming to stay in New York? And of course, why not you? I can have all of you, all of three of you. <laughs> oh, Matthew, actually, uh, I'm going to visit New York City a little bit later. Actually, just in a couple of days. So you're going to have the whole <laughs> Russian experience, yeah. believe me. You're going to have the, uh, the best Russian experience. Um, the Russian fire service are equipped with a barrier. What's barrier? You know barrier? Mm, I think some kind of like a, uh, a last name. I think a Russian last name. Oh, maybe this is some kind of like uh, aircraft. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So barrier BE two hundred. Mm -hmm. It's a firefighting hydroplane. Yeah. Okay. Oh, but still, you know, not really successful <laughs> uh, fighting with those. Um, I can help with cost two if you. Oh, it's a coast thing for you special. No, man, that's fine. Totally fine. I'm going to visit you. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Uh, oh, my God. Do you remember I was speaking about, like, the random uh, guy who, oh, was, yeah. who was going to my <laughs> freaking, like, live stream about CS and my some kind of game? Yeah. Like, look what he actually, like, he, he has a picture. Dark Web Anonymous. <laughs> Hi, Dark Web Anonymous. You have uh, posted a very sophisticated Yeah, I comment. think we'll need to ban this, actually. Yeah. Uh, yes. Because, you know, there is a, a German... Uh, how do you call it? Like, not swastika. It's going to be in Russian. Uh, how do you call swastika? I think this is the same. Swastika? Yeah. Uh, they like think it's not really Nazi appropriate. symbol. Yeah. Is a girl from your late night drinking story last week? <laughs> no, it's another one. It's not that. I've got me. quite the reputation. <laughs> it's not your. It's not the one. So, really, I was. We just we share a name, <laughs> not a personality. Yeah, it was. Uh, there was a game about like uh, late night drinking story. It was okay. Dasha, not mm. Daria. So. Uh, hi, I like the poster on the background. Oh, thank you so much. I'm really, uh, we're really lucky that it didn't fall off because <laughs> when I, while I was sleeping last night, it fell off and I was like, oh my God, there is an earthquake or something. Uh, in Russia, car drives you. What do you think? Ru well, a lot of cars maybe, <laughs> it, yes. It depends on the car. We, yeah. have, we have a lot of foreign brands, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, I think they are st starting to move their production to Russia. Yeah, so they I are so. locally produced, but uh -huh. still they have mm, they have to adhere to the same standards as uh, okay, okay. other cars. My Russian friend texted me Kerish. This is some kind of underground meme. I'm just to make it like Kerish. Okay. Anyway, it was like just fr friendly greeting, so to say. Zach, have you heard about all of the secret North Korean labor camps in Primorsky Krai? I watched a YouTube video, and it was something. Mm. It's, North Korea labor camp in Primorsk. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> labor camps. Uh, I've heard a lot of people, uh, I mean, a lot of workers in the Far East mm -hmm. from North Korea who are actually working mm -hmm. in the Far East of Russia mm -hmm. as kind of like low class workers, mm -hmm. unskilled workers. Mm -hmm. And I actually, I even seen some uh, mm -hmm. from North Korea. My friend uh, said that he, they were from North Korea. 
But I've heard that they are actually, they are only allowed to go to Russia if they have family mm, in I North see. Korea. So that they would send money yeah. back. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, uh, okay. they won't be able to migrate mm-hmm. or to stay in Russia yeah. because their family is going to be in danger. Mm-hmm. Mm, so, yeah. But I, I think... The, well, there, there is always a possibility. You know, mm-hmm. when there is something about Russia, yeah. there is always a chance. Yeah, <laughs> just, I think it's true about the world in general. It never ceases to surprise <laughs> yeah. people what's going on. Oh, there is some more uh, is Spanish for you. Oh, weird. Uh, here we go. Oh, thank you. This is so sweet. What Gra- is, what, muchas gracias. What does it mean? Uh... He said that <laughs> my Spanish is perfect. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it's not. Mm. Okay. Daria looks bored. Has Daria been to Disneyland? No, I have not. I'm not bored. I'm just a little bit sleep deprived uh, on a constant basis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I'm studying at my uh, Russian university mm-hmm, mm-hmm. at the same time. So I'm studying at two uh, higher education institutions. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that choice from Nishni, thank you. Uh, why do you. Uh, <laughs> what? Dacha. Dacha, Dacha, Dacha is different, like, you know, words. We have Dacha, you know? Like, of course you know Dacha. Yeah. Dacha, it's uh, D A S H A. Dacha. Yeah. yeah, the Ural Wagon Zavod is the factory that pr- uh, produces tanks. Oh, oh yeah. I actually heard about yeah, it when I was. It's not. Uh, it's not like the whole town is surrounded by military. Uh-huh. Maybe some uh, parts of the factory are oh, yeah. uh, they are considered to be secret, but I w- wouldn't say that. Oh, okay. We can't go out of the town, for example. Oh, okay, got it. You can freely come and go. Oh, okay. Yeah. You guys could consider a reverse bold and bankrupt. Middle of nowhere, American grandmas coming to translate into Russian law. <laughs> yeah, actually, I was thinking, but you know about bold and bankrupt? Mm. Uh, it's actually a show. A guy. Uh, it's like yeah, it's a show on YouTube. Uh, it's actually a guy from UK. Mm-hmm. He's like I don't know, maybe forty or something. Mm-hmm. Oh, why? Uh, <laughs> bold and bankrupt. And so he's going mm. around the post-Soviet countries. Oh, I see. And he's you know he's yep. been to Ukraine, to mm-hmm. Belarus, to yeah. Russia, and like all of his like. Mm-hmm. Most of his <laughs> videos. Mexico City. Yeah, and there are, like well, he's been to Mexico, uh-huh. to India, and right now he's exploring Russia, and he's really popular. I mean, like he had like one almost mm-hmm. like three point something million, and uh, he just you know go around mm-hmm. Russia and you know he speaks really fluent mm-hmm. Russian, mm-hmm. and he just go around Russia and you know just doing some stuff. Mm-hmm. I really like you know watching mm-hmm. those this videos. Is cute. And actually, yeah, it's really interesting, you know. Uh, the idea to do mm, something to like bold and backup. Yeah, like I'm in the middle of yeah. nowhere, like going to American <laughs> Babushka. Actually, like mm. my trip to Portland seems like this. <laughs> yeah, I just wasn't filming mm. it. Um, hello, I like the Van Gogh painting. Thank you so much. Okay, mm. it's uh, it's really great that I got one before. Mm, yeah. We got one before, like this, the whole live stream. Um, does Dash Dacha <laughs> Does Dasha have a YouTube channel? I think she is a very good speaker in English and it's super knowledgeable, just like you, Zach. Queer conversation between you two. Oh, thank you. You should have started a new YouTube channel. Uh, Everybody's asking. Maybe someday. <laughs> I don't know. It's just I have a lot on my plate right now. Oh. But maybe when I have a little bit more free time and when I'm more comfortable with the whole yeah. video format. Why not? I'm yeah. always open to. Okay, as soon as uh, oh, our camera is actually falling oh. down, I actually I'm really lucky that I noticed it. So yeah, because yeah. our camera just placed on a freaking like uh, tape. Yeah, <laughs> to we the taped wall. it to the wall. <laughs> yeah. So um, <clears throat> my aunt actually from <laughs> whom uh, <laughs> I have a video with my aunt. Her, do you remember like the worst neighborhood in Russia? The most popular video which I had like fifty thousand views. Um, there is like a video about really really bad um, neighborhood in mm-hmm. my home in Kamkhabarsk with those baraki like mm-hmm, those yeah. two flo- uh, two floors wooden uh, houses. And my aunt just told like the har privet, vy krasavchiki my Like <laughs> like uh, hi there, uh, you you're, rock. You're, you're guys you rock yeah we love you okay. Mash привет, 
And I think also my like, oh, I feel like, you know, I'm in a federal television and like, I'm 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 It's either something weird or extremely inappropriate. Yes, I think I so. I would like to go with the weird <laughs> one. Okay, uh, Betsy skills in house. Hi. Hi. Okay. Um, so the Far East imported a lot of Japanese cars. Do they make strange anime noises when you turn them on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? Actually, I have a YouTube video about like cars in the Far East. Mm -hmm. I was just driving around mm -hmm. with my... Uh, friend from Habarovsk and uh, like I was driving his car a little and when I was you know just turning uh, turning mm. on the light uh, ignition ignition I, I when I was editing it mm. I paced the animus uh, anime sound oh. and they were like oh my god <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh gosh yeah it was kind of like uh, strange great effort that happen Americans understand that young Russians have the same aspirations and challenges as them just making their way in the world mm. this is true we are not really that different i mm -hmm, think mm -hmm. so yeah just generally ordinary people are very similar yeah. in some terms i think we are really actually like our generation mm -hmm. and maybe like generation who like been raised like five years ago Uh, they really like pro-Western yeah. influence. Like we used to watch those American movies, cartoons from our childhood. And, you know, I think in many of our, like, um, I, I don't know the word in English, like ravesniki, like mm. people of the same age yeah. as are, 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 as are, are we, mm. they kind of even dream about like the U.S. because they used, they have this picture, picture perfect yeah. Yeah, picture in the brain, like, oh, U.S. is so perfect, are you gonna go there? Well, actually, you know, it's not that far from the truth. <laughs> But I mean, like, uh, I think, like, mo if you meet, met a person, like, at our age, if mm -hmm. you will meet a person at our age, it's gonna be, like, the same experience, because we are mostly pro-Western. Of course, they have some friends who are like, yeah, no, mm -hmm. West, or And weird. there are some people in the yeah. U.S. who have... Yeah. Different views. Yeah. But yeah. in general, I think, like, we are more pro-Western. Yeah, and we have more or less the same values yeah in life. Uh -huh. so yeah um bold was married to a belarusian woman oh. oh didn't know that actually does daria want a youtube channel <laughs> i have kind of already answered this one but yeah. i'm not sure i was thinking of starting a blog like it, it would be my small project for mm -hmm. uh, my master's degree but i'm not sure about it yet okay so anything can happen <laughs> you never know uh bolt was married to a russian mm -hmm. woman this is where bolt learned russian oh. and actually his russian really cool i mean like i haven't seen i haven't seen a person who speaks so fluent russian um hello from sydney in mm -hmm. australia <laughs> Hi, australia sydney. from the other part of the planet Well, I've got to go. Vegetable soup tonight. I enjoyed your live stream very much, Zach. Keep it up. Thank you so much, Charlie. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Daria, for being here. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, have you managed to find any American friends yet, Zach? Oh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. On my previous streams, live streams, mm -hmm. I was kind of like um, saying that I, I, I have something like a goal, like mm -hmm. to find an American friend, mm -hmm. any kind of. And uh, I was, I said, like, it's not really successful. Mm -hmm. And so right now, everybody's asking all, all the oh, time, like, what about American friends? <laughs> One, uh, you know, like, not as a friend, I think, like, not, I have some people to whom I acquaint, acquainted. I've been to also English speaking club and acquainted to some people of my age there, American ones. Uh, I hope it's going to be like, become something more yeah, than just we acquaintance. We still have a lot of time here. Yeah, we have a lot of time, but not yet. <laughs> Okay, uh, does Lada still make cars? Of course. Yep. Yeah, actually, you know what? You know, uh, we can, I, I'm going to show you some pictures. Actually, in U1, they actually yeah, looks like... I think like... they have a lot of new models. 
Well, yeah, and actually, like, uh, new models seems pretty okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not this one. This is like the stereotype. Yeah, that's they, a stereotype. They do have some better. You know what? Like, this one. This, yep. This one is also Lada. Uh, I don't know if it's actually really. It's a really quality car. Mm. But who knows? I mean, like, it's at least it looks okay. Yeah. It looks fine. Even it's Lada. Oh, it's actually like. Uh, how do you call it? Like Niva? Niva, yeah. Yeah, but it's really new, brand new. Updated yeah. Niva. Na uh, maximalka, as we would say in Russian, mm -hmm. like maximum complication. Um, Com complexion. Complexion, complexion, yeah. I think. Oh, and this is also Lada. So, it's a, I think it's Lada Granta. It's Vesta. Oh, Vesta. Oh, yeah, it's Vesta. Yeah, there is, it says here, yeah. Oh, right. here's the new Lada Niva. This one. This one? No, this one. Looks I, kind oh, of cool. It, it actually, I think it's a 3D model. Maybe. Yeah, it's like a concept. Yeah. But it looks like a, uh, a yeah, real well, photo. Well, this looks like a real car. Yeah. Least. Okay, so you got it. Like, it still works. Okay. Of course it still works. Okay. Uh, get a Tesla. They drive themselves. Mm. Well, maybe someday a lot are going to drive <laughs> yeah. themselves. Or drive you crazy. Who knows? If you could walk a mile a day or a day a day a mile, what would you choose? Or oh, what? A day a, a mile a day or a day a mile? I, I don't know. What means a day a day a mile? It's a very deeply philosophical mm, question. Yeah, well, wait, 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 wait. we cannot comprehend. If you could walk a mile a day, like mile a day, okay, mm -hmm. or a day a mile. I, I don't get it honestly. I Me too. Know. Uh, give some five fiber, please. One more, one more question. Oh, can yeah, you just, just rephrase it? Um, your friend from that car video definitely drives a little reckless by the state that the car was in. Haha. <laughs> oh, really? Actually, I can show you. Uh, I, I was just showing his car because he bought a Japanese car. Uh, give me a second. Can you see the? Yeah, you see it. And so uh, I'm just, you know was interviewing him. Oh, you look so young here. Oh, oh re really? <laughs> yeah. It was like, uh, maybe because I'm having a beard right now, but I, it was I like May. It was like, you know, three <laughs> months ago. Oh my God. You know, US life yeah. kind of make you look uh, older. So I just had a something like interview mm. with my friend. Mm. Uh, and then I, I was just, you know, cure, I was asking like, oh, do you drive like safely yeah. and stuff? And then I've shown his car. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Oh no. Oh, I, I uh, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. So I, I, I asked him, like, if you drive safely, and mm. he was like, yeah, of course. And I'm showing like this part of. <laughs> well, maybe someone bumped into him. Uh, well, okay. it's. Uh, his car the... <laughs> <laughs> well, it it does look cool. Yeah, it actually. It used to. Look yeah, cool. it's a brand new car, like 2018. But actually, yes, he is actually drives in a really crazy. I'm, 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 I'm really. Sometimes I'm really kind of anxious to drive with him. <laughs> so you guys, right? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that's funny. Some nostalgic when Zach was young. <laughs> okay. Um. Apart from family and friends, what do you miss about? Russia. Mm, I miss vegan options. I don't know why. It's just I think that Moscow is uh, the city I've been living in for the past two years is more vegan friendly. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. this is what I miss. Oh yeah, Dash Dari is vegan, so it's mm -hmm. really important to her to have this food. And. Uh, maybe a good public transportation system yeah, oh, I, yeah. I miss uh, our subway a lot because yeah, it's me too. very convenient and fast mm -hmm. here you can wait for an hour yeah, almost like maybe for a bus. like online banking services oh yeah it's just like everyday stuff uh -huh. it's not that Mm, it's not that significant, but yeah. it does make a difference on a daily mm -hmm, basis. Mm -hmm. Let's it's really it like interesting that. why here in the U.S., like the country that's considered like IT, you know, yeah, giant, it, and it is one of the most proficient ones in terms of finance. Yeah, yeah. why don't why doesn't they have like those services, yeah. electronic services that we do have in Russia? Yeah, for example, we have Apple or Google Pay almost anywhere. Yeah, even in small s stores. Yeah, and I mean like our. Uh, banking system mm -hmm. especially because it's kind of like really imp I mean like 
really important part of everyday usage. It's so cool, it's so convenient. Yeah. I mean, like when uh, we were actually struggling with having <laughs> banking, banking cards, like debit cards, for uh, getting our stipend mm -hmm. from the exchange program. And you know, in Russia, you can just go to Tinko.com. Yeah. That's one of the bank, big banks in Russia. You can just, you know, uh, fill out the form in, t in five minutes. Yeah. And in, in a couple of days or even in the next day, they're going to come over to your place and where you point and deliver it for free without mm -hmm. any fee. But here you have to go to downtown yeah, you or have somewhere. To make an appointment, yeah. And you have to reschedule an appointment, and then they lose your documents. Yeah, and then you was uh, you were not able to download application yeah, over. Yeah, or <laughs> they block your card for some reason. It's just uh, it's not something we are used to. Yeah, that's right. So it can seem a little bit frustrating for mm -hmm, us. Mm -hmm. um, how often? <clears throat> how often have either of you? met Americans traveling in your cities, do people say, OMG, there is a foreigner in Russia? Mm, <coughs> I don't know. Sometimes I meet some people, some foreign uh, tourists in Moscow, mm -hmm. uh, but it does not happen oh, okay. very frequently, mm -hmm. I would say. But I don't think that people react in a weird way. They yeah. just usually they try to be helpful and say something nice about uh, their country or yeah. maybe help this person with the directions uh -huh, or uh -huh. something like this. Yeah. Speaking about the Far East, about my hometown, in my hometown I never met a person from, I mean like the foreigner mm -hmm. who was just traveling. Maybe, uh, I met some people who were working there mm -hmm. as teachers, uh, English teachers. Mm -hmm. um, one guy from UK mm -hmm. and that's it. And the only one, like, experience, I was uh, visiting my babushka, my mm -hmm. grandmother, in Penza. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was just going around, like, central part of the city. Yeah. <clears throat> I was sitting at the bench, and I just heard, uh, uh, oh, some people just came came to me, like, to my bench, two of them, and they were, like, at my age. Mm -hmm. And they asked me with a really strong English accent, something mm -hmm. in Russian. They asked me, like, where they can play football. <laughs> It appeared that those guys are uh, volunteers, yeah. like from some kind of church mm -hmm. in Russia, uh, from the UK, mm -hmm. from UK, and they were looking for opportunity to play football in Penza. Oh. And they were like, "Oh, you looks like person who plays football. Like, where should they play <laughs> it?" And I was actually a tourist, also some kind yeah. of tourist. So I was like, "No idea," but they actually changed. Uh, I mean, like <clears throat> they gave me uh, the Instagrams, and we mm -hmm. kind of. I still have their accounts, yeah. I watch their stories, so mm -hmm. it's really interesting, like, it, it was really mm -hmm. random. It was my first ever experience meeting a person from, you know, western part yeah. of the world, so to say, in Penza. I was, like, 18 years old, so not, not that long. I think that now uh, there are some tours around Nizhny Tagil that they organize for the foreigners. Oh, really? For example, that factory that you showed uh, yeah. the guys. Uh, it arranges some tours in English, and they yeah. are twice as expensive as the ones in Russia. Oh, really? For some reason, yeah. Can they just go to default cashier? I uh, not not cashier, but I mean like just to a tour on a website. Tour yeah. Does uh, because uh, most of tour tours they have a website. Yeah, I know, but it's just the price oh, <laughs> difference. It's so it's so stupid. Yeah. It's it's really Maybe so just stupid. There, uh, there are very few people who can speak. A really good English mm. in this year. I don't know. Maybe. Oh my gosh. Okay. Welcome to America. Enjoy your time here. Thank you. From Damien Smith. Uh, Zeg, how do you how does the military con conscription works in Russia? Have you served some time in the Russian army by Feli Borba? Uh, military service. Well, it works pretty shitty because <laughs> we have mandatory uh, military service. Yeah. Of one uh, year. Yeah, for one year. and Only for men. Yeah, only for male. Uh, and, you know, all people from 18 to 27, they have to serve there. The only way you can kind of escape it by going to university. Or if you have a, a child. A child. But yeah. it's actually just for a couple of years. Yeah. And then you and should go. Yep. So most of the teenagers of my age, and actually even me in some kind of, a little bit, we went to university, <laughs> yeah, just to kind of like escape the military service because you know you just don't want to spend the whole year just doing this dumb dumb stuff that you've seen on YouTube, like those mm -hmm. stupid videos from army. 
So my friend actually right now is in the army, and he told me like, oh, Zach, you should not go there. There are, there are, zero stars would yeah, not recommend. Yeah, zero stars right here. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, it's pretty, pretty bad. I don't, I don't know why do we need a mandatory. I mean, like, I understand why do we have it, because yeah. our, like, pol it's policy of country from the Soviet Union that we'll need to have. I think it goes way back to mm, the empire. Yeah. When they established it. Yeah, of course, but I mean, like, I think Soviet Union kind of, like, strength, strengthened yeah, them, sure. because, you know, where is there's going to be some kind of war, they want to have all those ma mm. males who been through the uh, military service, so they're going to be a little bit prepared. But actually, like, my friend, who have been also to the army, another one, she, uh, he served there for one year, and he told, like, they went to, uh, to shoot, uh, like, real guns yeah. only t two times a year. <laughs> So it's it's really strange uh, military service. So, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, I was uh, okay. Glad you were in the U.S. Harder to get arrested. Hi to the new girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> new girl sounds sounds ridiculous. By the way. Uh, the that new girl. The new girl. Yeah. Where's the old one? I don't know. I hope she's alive. <laughs> I mean, like, the only one girl should be here is that uh, the girl from Yeah Russia channel, like, <laughs> Natasha, that everybody is know. Like, they tell her, like, I don't know, like, I have something, like, a job interview, like, in interviews here every day. <laughs> uh, Zach, has your aunt and niece moved out of that neighborhood yet? No. Actually, right now, they're in the process of moving, moving out of there. In our region, mm -hmm. we have some kind of, like, uh, cry program, like, region program. Yeah. Uh, by the governor mm -hmm. uh, for moving uh, for people to move out of those areas mm -hmm. but it goes really slowly yeah sure and my relatives they are in this, is this program mm -hmm. and because of my aunt she has three children mm -hmm. and uh, you know she her, can relocate yeah she can relocate faster than others so I hope it's going to be possible oh. like in a, mm -hmm. a year or something yeah Daria, do you plan to visit any Latin American countries in the near future? I would love to. I've been to Spain and uh, I'd like to go there again. And oh. I would really like to travel around Latin America uh -huh. because uh, their versions of Spanish are very unique in terms of vocabulary and just the culture is something that fascinates me. Uh -huh. I enjoy... Um, all aspects of the Mexican culture. Oh, okay, uh, okay. I'm familiar with it since I've been to Texas and they are in a very close relationship. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But yeah, so maybe Me Mexico, Brazil, Argentina. Argentina, yeah. Sp Spain for sure. Oh, cool. Uh -huh. Yeah, I also would like to visit South America. Especially I would like to go to Brazil. Oh, yeah. Because, you know... Um, in Russia, we have this picture perfect picture. I mean, like for the boys, we used to play a lot of football in Russia, <laughs> and Brazil. In Brazil, I think football is like a national sport, mm -hmm. all, all, like a soccer so for American for viewers. So yeah. Uh, by the way, we got a donation from William in Engel, Engel, Engel. Engel. Yeah. Uh, I enjoy your videos. I hope you and Daria have a nice evening. Um, Let's go, Brandon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, man. Uh, I don't know why everything in is called uh, like go. let's go Brandon. What does it mean? Like in every almost every donation we got, like let's go Brandon. What does it mean? <laughs> uh, I I'm sorry if we kind of like missed something in the live chat about Brandon about his story. Can you please share it? Because you know, I think there is a little maybe there is some kind of story in the live chat. Yeah, maybe cultural reference. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm trying to Google it right now. Uh, but the let's go, Brandon. Collection is very slow. Do you think it's kind of like meme? <laughs> Why does he have Joe Biden on it? Anti Biden. Oh, yeah. So it's anti Biden. Oh, it's anti Biden. It's pro Putin. Okay. Oh, okay. Got it. Now we've connected the dots. Okay. Oh, okay. Got it. Uh, the internet is a great equalizer makes people realize they are they aren't that different from each other yeah. the media can't bullshit us this is true yeah this is why we, we are doing this stuff we're you know fighting those medias 
those Russia Today. <laughs> I hate Russia Today. It's actually, <laughs> YouTube, uh, you know the Russia Today? Of course I do. And they have the, you know, channels here in the US. Yeah. I don't, I, I'm not sure actually, because I think, I think they could be banned here. I haven't watched uh, any yeah. of their content because I just prefer not to. <laughs> yeah, and they were, they are all, like, they always have those videos, like, or even on their YouTube channel. Mm. They actually have a YouTube channel, which is called russian uh, plus or something like mm -hmm. this and it's about you know putin putin is going strong putin is so yeah we don't we don't watch this um uh daria must visit balnerio camborio mm. Bal balnerio in brazil it's called tropical dubai real beautiful okay thank you tropical du dubai oh really oh let's, uh, let's well, yeah. watch it um Tropical Dubai. Come, come um, it, it's here. Here, yeah. Oh, uh, let's make it like this. Uh, let's look pictures. Oh. Oh. That looks nice. It looks like Florida, actually. Yeah, it, it does a little bit. Because of, you know, uh, so, this yeah. kind of... It's cool. Have you been to Florida, by the way? Nope. Yeah, I, I, ju I just saw pictures. This is my first time, yeah, mine too. Oh, okay. It's kind of close to Texas. Yeah, it, look, it looks real beautiful. Mm, it looks a little bit like Houston. Houston? Yeah. Oh. Oh, you've been to Houston because yeah. you've been to Texas. Okay. Yeah. I've heard actually many companies right now in the US, they move into... Um, Texas? Yeah, yeah. Because of the taxes, taxes policy? Maybe they have taxes. I'm sure. Actually, I think Delaware is the most tax profitable yeah? state. Yeah. Oh, okay. And a lot of uh, companies register there so that mm. they would pay lower taxes. Mm -hmm, mm. Interesting. Uh, when is Daria going back to Russia? The we, same. We both yeah. go in at the same time. I'm leaving a little bit earlier because I have my exam session at my Russian yeah. university. But in general, it's uh, the end of December. Yep. What's your favorite place you have been to America so far? You got to see New York City at some point. Uh, what's your favorite place so far? Mm, I would say Terlingua, that uh, national park I was telling you about. Oh, in Texas? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, cool. And I think, yep. Okay. Well, my favorite place yet is, uh, is located in Seattle. Yeah. And it's a campus of Washington University, yeah. University of Washington. It's so beautiful, really. Uh, I mean, like, I think there are, of course, many beautiful universities, but I just have, I haven't seen those. So it was my first experience, and I almost got, when I went there, I felt like I'm in a Harry Potter, Harry Potter movie, because, you know, all those buildings, they were so beautiful. It really looked like Hogwarts. Mm -hmm. And I really liked the atmosphere, like the student atmosphere, yeah. really close to downtown Seattle. So I really like this place. Um, I think Kalashnikov was making an electric car to rival Tesla. Is it still a scene or did it flop? Oh, mm. uh, I don't think it's actually... Mm, it's probably just a project. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just a concept. You We're know, definitely not driving <laughs> We have many Teslas concepts. in yeah. Russia. <laughs> oh, actually, in, my, in the far east of Russia, yeah. I was really surprised. That right now, we have a lot of electric cars because, mm -hmm. you know, it's really cheap from Russia to import yeah. those uh, Japanese cars. I mean, it's not that cheap, but it's still cheaper than buying mm -hmm. it in Russia. And we have many of those cars. Let me, let me show you one, uh, which are fully electric Nissan Leaf. Mm -hmm. They also have this in Russia, uh, here in the US, mm -hmm. but in the far east of Russia, it's all over, and they mm -hmm. are totally electric. Mm -hmm. And I think one Nissan Leaf can go up um, on the full battery can go up like for two hundred fifty kilometers. Really? Yeah, which should be nice for yeah. you know, it should this, be enough for the day. Yeah, for people. It's who more work. than enough for the day. Yeah, and it's really, I mean, like it's even cheap to have this. Yeah. Because it doesn't cost a lot. It costs like four hundred thousand rubles mm -hmm. or five hundred thousand rubles. And it's cheap to, you know... Ref yeah, and uh, it looks kind of cool. Yeah, it looks okay. So, actually, I hope we can have... Because we have a really bad eco ecology problem. Yeah, I think the whole world <laughs> yeah. now has... Yeah. We're all in the same boat. Yeah, that's when right. When it comes to this. Uh, cool cars. I think it was before uh, yeah, about Ladas. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, actually, when you won, even my friend, he... Uh, 
month, two months ago, he mm-hmm. bought a Russian Lada car. Mm-hmm. I don't remember like the name, but anyway, uh, they could easily be imported to USA, but for the never-ending Cold War. Mm-hmm. Oh, it just tears it <sighs> up to the coast. Okay. Uh, Zach, not no trying to judge, but your reckless car driving friend looks like a Gopnik lol. <laughs> <gasps> oh, well, you is... know, uh, she is a fancy go- oh he is a fancy Gopnik. You haven't seen those true Gopniks. I I did I did it. So you guys, you know, yeah. Well, he is actually a pretty cool guy. Yeah, and fact. let's not jump to conclusions. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, you you didn't know him in person, so yeah. I mean, like, you just saw, saw his, his best sides in this video. Why are you, <laughs> like, <laughs> saying this? Uh, I think the stream is about five minutes behind. Yes, we had a little bit of la- latency yeah. because of, you know, YouTube settings. Being a Brazil who don't play football, I can say I suffer as a lot back. Oh, really? <laughs> You should join the U.S. Army. Oh, actually, <laughs> there, is a, there is a YouTube channel by a Russian guy uh, who is serving in the army in the U.S. Uh, I don't really remember how it's called, like, um, Ruski v. Amerikanskai Army. <laughs> yeah, there is a really big YouTube channel. Uh, I don't remember who who exactly. Oh, this one. Yeah, he actually has 200,000 subscribers. Oh, okay. oh, let me show you. So, uh, <laughs> this guy, he's Russian and he's serving in um, the US military. And he has a lot of videos about, you know, his life in the US and also about, you know, wars, about, you know, just military stuff. So, it's really interesting. Just recommend to watch. I used to watch it when it was back in Russia. Okay, we're gonna close it. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, yeah, it, it's a little bit behind. Yeah, but, but I mean, no, like, it's not, fine. Not I, I'm used to yeah. it. I'm used to it. Uh, uh, hi, Zach and Daria. I'm Bill. I live in Illinois. I'm a huge fan of Russian music. Uh, Seldor Bastard, Polna Lubvi and Luna, to name mm-hmm. a few. Mm-hmm. Who are some of your favorite Russian artists? Oh, actually, we already answered this question. Artists? Yeah, artists. I mean, like, band, band artists. Maybe just artists, like... No, no, there, 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 artists? There, no there is uh, a Russian yeah. music. So okay. I think it's about music. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I can start yeah. if you want to. Uh, I used to listen, you know, a lot of those doom wave music, like, <laughs> you know, especially in the last couple of years. So, of course, I listened to a lot of... Oh my gosh. Oh no. No, it does happen. Oh my gosh. I was I was hoping to this not to happen for a while. Okay, I'm uh, we're actually gonna make something like this for for a while. <laughs> Look at our yeah, faces. Oh my gosh. Oh. Sorry guys. Well we should have seen it coming. Yeah, I was actually like thinking about it to happen at <laughs> some moment, but I thought it was going to happen after the live stream. We were not so lucky. Okay, one go, uh, fall of one go. Poor Van Gogh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, we, we're back. We, oh my god, he, I didn't make it really you know, uh, straight. straight. Anyway, it's okay. I mean, like, it the looks ho- fine. I mean, like, you can, uh, I think, like, the whole like, um, art thing about Wang Gok mm. is not the straight line, yeah. so it's a uh, so you're just being a little bit yeah, of an impressionist, I'm being a little bit of, yeah. <laughs> um, my, fa- my favorite Russian music artist, so I, I, I listen to a lot of Malchat Dama, I think you heard about it, mm. maybe. Yeah, it's kind of like Doom Wave, mm. something. And also, uh, one more, not to shock you. Oh my god. Not to shock you. <laughs> it's hard to come up with it. I mean, like, there are so many uh, strange ones. Uh, I can recommend, like. Ooh. No, I hear it's going down, but I don't. No. no. Oh, okay, it's going down from. Please. Anyway. Uh, Istochnik is also a really cool, kind of underground band. I really like it. Okay, what about you? I already answered this question, oh, okay, so okay. just go back to the video, uh, because 
I think we've named a few. Yeah. The artists that I personally like. Mm -hmm. uh, Zinfira, for example. Zinfira is great. Yeah. She's she's the goddess. Yeah, that's right. Um, why? Zach doesn't want to go to fight in Syria at all, but I understand in Brazil the military service is obligatory, obligatory as well, but I actually liked it, made lots of friends. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, if you go into military service in Russia, you don't have to go to Syria. Uh, mm -hmm. Only people who are like on the contracts, yeah, they go in, they who are professional yeah. military, they go into Syria. But still, you know, I just, I just don't want to, um, you know, lost the whole uh, it's just year. Each person's choice. Yeah. Uh, I would like to go to Brazil someday too. Mm, yeah. yeah. Brazil seems to be a real interesting place. Can you tell us a joke in Russian? We probably won't understand it, but still, it's funny. It will be funny. Okay, do you know any jokes in, <laughs> in Russian? <laughs> Those anecdotes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> do they have the word anecdote in uh, there? They do, but it means uh, like a story, a funny story, not like a joke. Okay. Yeah, so it's well, anecdote is, well, meaning. from some kind of view, anecdote is also kind of like small story. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Actually, uh, I really like anecdote, which... Um, uh, there is a anecdote by uh, Reagan, I think, mm -hmm. that he was speaking to uh, to Gorbachev, mm -hmm. oh, not Gorbachev, but Brezhnev, Brezhnev in those days, and he told like, uh, oh, there is I can tell like in Russian and then mm -hmm. translate it like, встречается американец русский в баре. I like how it's going. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in so uh, в Советском Союзе и. Uh, <laughs> И э, американец говорит, что вот я могу прийти к своему президенту, там, стукнуть по столу mm -hmm. и сказать, что вы, мне не нравится, как вы управляете моей страной. А русский говорит, так я тоже могу. Американец, что правда, ты можешь так сделать? Американец, да, я тоже могу прийти к Горбачеву, и к Брежневу сказать, мне не нравится, как господин Рейган управляет своей страной. Yeah, I think I've heard something like that. Yeah, it's a uh, really popular. I, I, in those times, it's really popular. Oh, in English, of course. Yeah. Uh, it's it's harder. It's not that funny, I think. Uh, in English, anyway. So, uh, oh, actually, I can turn it on because uh, Reagan actually told it. Um, I'm gonna have some copyright issue with this, but anyway, <laughs> I'm not, I don't care. Um, anecdote. Or it's Clinton. Actually, a uh, lot of uh, Russian jokes are based on the cultural differences between different Asians, yeah. nations, so yeah. Um, uh, I don't think if it's actually... Arguing about their two countries, and the Americans said, look... Oh yeah, this one. Uh, let me actually change the... Oh, you can see it, okay. Oh, but what the volume? My country, I can walk yeah, in the Oval Office, I can pound the president's desk and say, Mr. President, I don't like oh, the yeah. way about story. their two countries and the Americans said look in my country I can walk into the Oval Office I can pound the president's desk and say Mr. President I don't like the way you're running our country and the Russian said I can do that the Americans said you can he says yes I can go into the Kremlin to the general secretary's office pound his desk and say Mr. General Secretary I don't like the way President Reagan <laughs> <is running stuff." laughs> oh yeah <laughs> so, <laughs> it's actually, I just seen it a couple of days ago, so I really liked it. <laughs> um, yeah. Here you go. Okay, we finished with jokes. Mm -hmm. um, Daria, your English is so impressive. <laughs> this is what I actually Thank say you. all the time. Yeah. <laughs> you both should have snacks like hot tea and cookies when do, doing a stream. Oh, actually. Wait, we have, like... <laughs> Some oh. apple juice yeah. and popcorn out you and some veggies. You guys so much for actually. Sorry for the ASMR. <laughs> oh yeah, there is like ASMR, ASMR <laughs> like streams and stuff. Yeah, of course, there is a pasidelki in Russian. Pasidelki. <laughs> okay. We were actually going to play some poker uh, with our friends here. But they kind of tired, and so um, we decided to stream a little yeah. in the last moment. Okay. Thank you so much for this idea. <laughs> <laughs> we almost forgot. These about are this. good, baby. I like them. Oh, okay, okay, uh, okay. Thank you so much. 
Mm. Mm -hmm. Cheers for our subscribers. Yeah, I think this is a very American yeah. <laughs> way of snacking. We need a semichki, like uh, those. I think some of my subscribers they yes. actually should know semichki. Yeah, it's like, uh, how is it called? Sunflower seeds. Yeah, sunflower seeds, that which are fried. That a lot of Russian yeah. people eat as a snack. Yeah, that's right. Especially gopnikis. Gopniki, yeah, of course gopniki, yeah. Um, Ten dollars from Andrew Smith. Hot tea and scones font. What's scones? Thank you. Um, it's like a biscuit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Andrew. It goes for... Thank you. Hot tea and <laughs> scones font. I haven't drunk hot tea in like half a year. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Why? I don't know. Just I feel too hot for this. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. I drink it every day even here. Mm. I don't know, it's I just a really big habit in Russia mm -hmm. to drink hot tea. It's really interesting why people are not drinking it here. Mm, my whole family does it. Oh, really? They do like, drink tea. Yeah, just How hour. often mm, in a day? Not every day, like once a week. But oh, still. okay. So it's not like in Russia. Mm, no, it's not like in Russia. Because like in my family, we drink tea like uh, at the breakfast, mm -hmm. then at the lunch. After lunch, mm -hmm. you, of course, you drink some tea. And uh, even like before, in the middle of yeah. lun lunch and <laughs> um, dinner, yeah. we have something like it's called poldnik. So it's like the m middle like time of the lunch and dinner time, something. In yeah, between. yeah. And there you drink tea with something yeah. sweet, and then uh, uh, in the dinner after mm -hmm. dinner you drink some tea, <laughs> even though uh, tea should have some caffeine. It does. And it, it doesn't. Yeah, you shouldn't really drink it uh, before yeah, sleeping. Yeah, but we are tough Russians. <laughs> yeah, actually my host mom here, she was really surprised that I was mm. drinking like tea at 10 p.m. Because she was like, oh, there is a coffee. How are you going to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> we are so used to drinking. Yeah. Hello, uh, hello from Norman, Oklahoma. We are watching lightning and thunderstorm out of the window. A tornado is approaching. Oh. We have also seen been uh, we've also been warned that there, we are going to get a huge hailstorm. Sirens going off. Oh my God! This mm -hmm. is from uh, Oklahoma. We hope you're okay, guys, and that yeah. it, it'll pass quickly. Oh my gosh, yeah. Stay safe. Uh, I think, like, most of Americans, they kind of prepare for this, because yeah. they have, like... Um, Which is great. Yeah, they have basement. Like, in any case, mm -hmm. they can go yeah. to the basement. Yeah. You... Uh, okay. Ready to duck in the closet. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's about Norman. It's about Oklahoma. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dari and Zach, what's the longest train ride you've taken? Do you have any crazy stories from Plotskart? <laughs> <laughs> what my, about you, Daria? My longest ride was probably four days. Mm -hmm. uh, we were on a trip to the Crimea when it was still part of Ukraine. And a funny story uh, about the train is that uh, one... <laughs> One time, my mom and I were traveling to Adler, which is oh, mm -hmm. uh, a district in Sochi, in, mm -hmm. which is a famous town uh, near the Black Sea. Mm -hmm. And um, they provided uh, food for us, mm -hmm. and um, I got poisoned with uh, our oh like God. canned <laughs> cabbage, you know, like. Yeah. And now I cannot uh, withstand the smell of it. N not even just the taste, the smell, it drives me crazy and I want to throw up. You know why I'm laughing? Because I have the same freaking story. <laughs> really? Almost the same. Uh, when I was like in the third grade, mm -hmm. we went from Khabarovsk to Komsomoysk. There is a night train which goes like for something like nine hours. Mm -hmm. And my mom bought me a snake. Uh, or not a snake. snake? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. Uh, it happens. Uh, snake. snake. Yeah. yeah. So my mom bought me a snack, a chips. You know, uh, I don't think you have this uh, in like western part of Russia or middle mm -hmm. western part, <laughs> middle west of Russia. <laughs> <laughs> middle western. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it was actually like crab chips, like uh, yeah. chips, potato chips with a crab flavor. 
We do. Not have it. not lace, but I mean like yeah. the in, in the yeah. shape of crab. So you have it. Yeah, we do. Oh, yeah. okay. I I used to love them before I went vegan. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. And so uh, I ate the whole pack by yeah, myself. It, oh my goodness. And it was like in a story radar where there yeah. was a really small guy yeah. before this pack, <laughs> and like the next morning when we have to leave the train, mm -hmm. I wake up and the first scene I'm like. Oh my god, I'll need, to, I'll need to vomit. And I'm just vomit to the entrance. Like, and it was in postcard. And I vomited just, you know, in the middle of those beds. And, you know, uh, the paravadnik, like the I know, conductor. Like, conductor in the... Uh, wait, wait, not wagon? Uh, it's like a compartment. Yeah, like yeah. Well, anyway, like, the worker, she was like... You should actually clean it. And I was like, <laughs> my mom was like, "Oh, you see the per uh, the children. He is like he's sick." And we went off <laughs> the train. And since then, I can't eat those crab chips. Yeah. I I hate the smell. I just can't eat it. So, why is this all related to <laughs> trains? They do smell weird. Yeah. Uh, when you think about it. Yeah, a little. But speaking about like the length of traveling, I actually took a train uh, from Moscow. To to, to my hometown. Was it like ten days? Uh, no, it was actually uh, seven and a half days. Okay. But it was like I was like twelve or thirteen, so it was kind of interesting a little. But there was no shower. Like you, oh. you were without a shower. Uh, really? Yeah. Usually they do. Have I think shower. right now they have it, but you know those. It was like two thousand to, I don't know, maybe nine. Not even thirteen. I think I was like eight or seven. Yeah. So I was kind of like, but I know my my babushka mm -hmm. with whom I was riding this uh, Trans Siberian rail mm -hmm. railway, she was really enjoying it because she had the opportunity to speak with other babushkas yeah. with the whole plot card. <laughs> um, Boeing just moved to Texas, I believe, and Delaware has no sales tax. But honestly, like they say about Detroit, you can't have shit in Delaware. There is isn't anything to really do there. I mm -hmm. live near it. Ben Farrell. Delaware. Um, I was speaking about it. Mm -hmm. The fact that they don't have a sales tax. Yeah. And for this reason, a lot of companies are registered there. Mm -hmm. Have you been to Detroit? Nope. Mm, me too. Mm, I've been to Michigan, but only to one city, Kalamazoo. It's near the border mm -hmm. with Illinois. Oh, okay. Uh, Russia today is not banned in the US. They have. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. We have those snacks. Yeah. Uh, Russia today is not banned in the USA. They have articles from Slavoj Zizek that I read, but he's only on the. On there, since they are the only place that publish him. Otherwise, I don't trust Russia Today. Good for you. No. You guys, don't trust Russia Today, <laughs> please. I mean, like, you, of course, you can watch it, but, of course, think critical. Uh, I mean, like, not critical, like, how do you call it? Like, think from different points of view. Yeah, and read different resources. Yeah. Hmm... I just heard someone say, let's go Brandon earlier today. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, we got two donations and both of them, <laughs> they said, like, let's go Brandon. Um, Daria and Zach, are American television series like France and other TV series popular in Russia? Oh. I don't even know oh, can what you, Can you say? show it a little bit? Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like... Yeah, here we go. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Never heard about them. Yes, they are very popular. Mm -hmm. And well, actually, a lot of people learn English by mm, watching the TV series. Yeah. I think, like, I was I was watching in English. I was watching Office when I was, like, oh. in 10th or 9th grade, mm -hmm. when my English was kind of low level. And then, you know, it's kind of, like, a really good way to learn it, because... Yeah. Especially if you have a really simple, uh, simplified speech. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, they're pretty pretty popular. Um, I used to, my favorite one, which is not American, is a uh, um, Game of Thrones. I think many mm -hmm. of you watched it. Yeah. Um, a Russian in the U.S. military that's in Moscow. In, that's in Moscow informant for sure. <laughs> yeah. What would you say Ru Russian people think about American, your experience? Mm, 
Mm. It depends on the age. Yeah, first of all, it depends on the age. Second of all, mm, I think that people tend to have uh, more or less a positive or at least neutral opinion about uh, the nation. But mm. when it comes to the government, sometimes there are some ideological conflicts. Yeah. So. Uh, I think that ordinary people are not as hostile uh, towards Americans as they uh, as mm -hmm. we are being portrayed by the media. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we still have a lot of people who are like above fifty yeah. from Soviet Union with a Soviet Union mentality, and uh, I think yeah, thank you. They are not really friendly to. I mean, like they are like oh, Americans are kind of in charge of what happened to Russia in 90s and we have those there is a really big sur uh, surname in Russia I uh, forgot about it. Oh. you know this guy American founder um, who was investing in Russia in different kind of social programs I uh, forgot no, cool. he got many f um, funds in Russia he even became some kind of meme in those times uh, I forgot okay anyway so I think in general people are not that friendly to Americans, who, but in Moscow people are more liberal. Mm -hmm. And so if you visit in Moscow or Saint Petersburg, you you're gonna be really you know welcomed, and it's gonna be totally fine. I think it depends on like mm, mm -hmm. people. Yeah, but I mean like in because general, I think even in Moscow you can yeah. still meet some, and yeah. you can meet some really like normal people who. Are will positively react in other parts of the country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. For example, Daria from Nizhny Tagil yeah. and Zahar from Zag from the far west of Russia, so it kind of depends. Um, good, th good thing you weren't sleeping when the poster fell. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it, it happened yesterday night, <laughs> so... Yeah, Daria, does everyone in Russia speak with proper grammar in the other places like the Ural region outside of Moscow and St. Petersburg? Mm, not really, just I was lucky to have a very great teacher who was extremely devoted to helping us master the language. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that Moscow has an overall better level of English proficiency because they have a higher quality of uh, foreign language education. Yeah, and yeah. sometimes they have native speakers mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to fill in. Yeah. So mm, I wouldn't say that there is a region in central part of Russia that has a very good overall English level. Yeah. It, it's mostly uh, the European part of the country. You even, uh, you even been to the U.S. with your uh, school teacher? Yeah, with my teacher. Yeah, uh, as a part of, you know, some kind, not lessons, but mm -hmm. I mean, like, part of yeah. education. I can't really imagine this back mm -hmm. from in my hometown. Like, I would go with my school teacher to the U.S. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Uh, you've been as tourists? Uh, mm, yes. And oh, okay. uh, I also used to study at a class with an advanced English program. Mm -hmm. So we had like six hours of English Oh yeah, it's out very... of uh, 36. Okay. <laughs> a week. Yeah, yeah. In, in my like last 11th grade, I also had this, but in my previous schools, because I was changing schools so much, we, do we doesn't really, didn't have it. So uh, yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Um, <laughs> Zach, what's the opinion of the modern Russia citizen on Tsar Nikolai II? and the last years of the Russian Empire before the revolution. Well, there were different points of Nikolai II. I can point two of them, in my opinion. The first one, like, oh, uh, that Nikolai II, Nikolai II was like a really weak emperor, and uh, because of it, uh, we kind of lost the Japanese war, Russian-Japanese war from 1905 here. Um, and also, because of it, we kind of lost the First World War, war and, you know, there are many such opinions, I think. And one more opinion, which actually some of my young friends, mm -hmm. my friends of my age, there is a small category of people who right now, at least uh, from my friends wh whom I have, who are kind of like trying to uh, tell that Nicholas II was really liberal. Uh, and he was one of the liberals, the most liberal, you know, ru rulers mm -hmm. of the country of all years, like even Putin is not mm -hmm. that liberal as Nicholas II, and uh, they say uh, that statistics show that 
in those period of times when Nicholas II was in, was ruling the country, it was the most productive, uh, you know, times for Russian, you know, pro production. Anything you know, that we were real, we were export exporting many things mm -hmm. to Europe, and Russia was pretty rich. I think it was on the same level as the U.S., maybe even higher. Those times. Yeah, maybe. Mm, yeah. So there were different views on Nicholas II. Yeah, I think that uh, monarchy would not work out n n in Russia now, mm -hmm. but still, they should not have dealt with the family the way yeah. they did. Yeah. It only caused more havoc mm -hmm. in the country. And maybe he was just unfortunate to get into those times because. Uh, the public dissatisfaction has been growing for some time, so mm -hmm. it's not just uh, Nicholas II was not the cause of yeah. public backlash. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he just basically he inherited what has already mm -hmm. been happening, had already been happening for some time. Yeah. Uh, I also was reading actually his diary. 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 Yeah. yeah. Not diary and. Uh, it it seemed to me really strange because uh, you kind of have a picture like the emperor he should all all the same he, sh he sh all all the time he should think about you know politics about mm -hmm. the wars that is going on about you know like some kind of intrigues mm -hmm. inside of the government but all of his, all of his diaries were about you know the nature how he loves the world and stuff mm -hmm. it, it doesn't really what you expect from the strong emperor who is ruling one of the biggest countries in the world to and think. You know what, uh, at the time a lot of uh, dynasties within Europe were yeah. uh, related by blood with each other and for this reason they couldn't really make objective decisions mm -hmm. because uh, for example, if they decided to go against uh, one country, uh, yeah, it's uh, like there would be a high relatives. chance yeah, so that uh, there is some kind of a relative in this country. Yeah. So you can't uh, just act in the interest of your own yeah. country. You also have to consider this aspect. Yeah, yeah, I've heard like even Bismarck, who was like ruling um, in Germany, uh, Austro Germany Empire, yeah. he was actually like step cousin or like not step, mm. step, but I mean like. Um, how do you call it? Vajurudni. He's trained, strangled, something like this. Yeah. Well, a, a distant relative. Distant relative like of this, yeah. Nicholas II. Yeah. So. Maybe. Yeah. Mm. Dostoevsky, Chekhov and Dolstoy and other Russian authors are widely read in the US. Do you know of American authors that are widely read in Russia? Do you guys have a favorite? Oh, that's a really interesting question. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, Fitzgerald is... Fitzgerald? Mm. Yeah, he's kind of... Interesting. Mark Twain is oh, yeah, obviously Twain, one yeah, of, of the most popular ones. Yeah. Uh, who else? Who else? Just it's hard to pinpoint because our uh, literature syllabus does not contain a lot of foreign authors in general, mm. not just the American ones. Yeah. Well, uh, speaking about me, uh, like uh, maybe it's just me, but I'm used to uh, uh, Jack London should be actually. Oh yes, like, he's so great. But yeah. I don't think he's actually from the U.S. He, he is. He oh, is. he is. From he, the... he wrote a lot about. Uh, oh, okay. That, uh, gold yeah, fever. yeah, yeah. But I, th I thought he is actually a UK writer mm. who ri uh, wrote about uh, the U.S. I used to love him. Yeah, much, Jack um, London is pretty classic. White Fang was my favorite yeah, book. Yeah, that's right. Also, uh, well. Jerome Klapka Jerome. Uh, and oh, mm -hmm. or Henry, yeah. Yeah, oh Henry, yeah, of course. Uh, I also read a lot of Dickens, Charles yes, Dickens. Yes, yes. He, he actually uh, he was ri uh, writing pretty closely to Jack London. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, maybe Louisa May Alcott, uh, Little Women. This. Mm, yeah, yeah, no. Oh yeah, so I think pretty a lot of. Writers. Yeah, it's just uh, usually people just. Uh, how do I put it? Uh, it's not uh, a compulsory part of our mm -hmm. education. Yeah. And people just read whatever they like. Yeah, that's right. Our like uh, literature yeah. classes are kind of messy. Yeah. Ray Bradbury. Yeah. Oh, He's Bradbury. One yeah. Of yeah, Bradbury. And Stephen really King. Stephen yeah. King is yeah. very popular yeah. now. Is Stephen King from the, from the US? I think, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure. But uh, Ray Bradbury is definitely one yeah, of Ray the most Bradbury, popular of ones. Uh, I wrote like uh, four, five, five, one. Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit yeah. four, uh, fifty-one. Yes, uh, and actually, 
I was reading, I read this book for uh, my political science course at oh, really? <laughs> my <laughs> Russian university. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty, it, it, it's like 19, 1984, almost yeah. like from those, uh, how do you call it? Like, you know, in Dystopias. 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 Yeah. Oh, okay. In Russian, it's going to be anti-utopia, yeah. like dystopia. Okay. Uh, if you were, you two are natural pairing, please do this again. <laughs> <laughs> from Connecticut. I mean, like, uh, as a YouTube uh, stream. Okay, okay. You guys asked, like, so... Daria has no options. <laughs> okay, I'm oh joking. Oh my gosh! No, I'm joking. I Daria. can get out of it. Yeah. Can either of you to play any music instruments? No, I can't. But nah. I really wanted to learn how to play the guitar. I was trying. Uh, you know, my friend, who is really proficient uh, he's really proficient at playing guitar and he told like i had uh unstretchable not stretchable but i mean like my uh fingers are not flexible are not flexible okay. for playing and he, he said like oh if you want to play classic guitar yeah. you'll need to stretch your fingers every day for a couple of months and i was like thank you i just wanted to you know just to play mm. one song just only one song i don't want to stretch my fingers for a couple mm. of months for this I have a very talented friend who plays uh, the piano, the drums, the guitar, the violin, mm -hmm. and oh my I god, think some other instruments. And she's also a singer. Oh my god, that's a yeah. lot. And she writes music in English. She writes mm -hmm. songs. Okay, uh, we got one donation from Michael Kleist for twenty dollars. Thank you so much, man. Thank Unfortunately, you. no message, but we really appreciate it. No. Yeah. Uh, one more donation from William White. William White seems like a really interesting name. Yeah. William White. Also with no Thank comment. Thank you so much. We, we really appreciate it. Uh, it's gonna, it's not gonna go for Putin re-election, but gonna go for healthy food <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> as my previous stream. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. Um... Dari and Zach, how long did, did it take you to learn English? Meaning when we when we are confident to speak with a native English speaker. Mm, I'm okay. still not confident to speak <laughs> to a native English. Just... Oh, okay, come yeah, on. Your English is, is perfect, <laughs> really. Speaking is my least enjoyable uh, part, aspect of a language learning. Basically, well, mostly because I'm an introverted person mm -hmm. so it's hard for me to communicate with yeah. people even in my mother tongue but i think that it happened uh, during my first year at my russian university because my program is taught entirely in english mm -hmm. and in order to get good ra uh, good grades i would have to speak english on a constant basis mm -hmm, and to mm -hmm. actively participate yeah. uh, during our lessons so i think this is the moment when my language barrier kind of broke down mm -hmm, mm -hmm. maybe not entirely but still it gave me a great boost oh oh yeah actually it's pretty cool that you have um, the whole program in university yeah. in english i think it's really helpful like every day like in my in my university in my linguistic uh like a department yeah. you know it doesn't really uh in, i i should have start have a lot of you know lessons uh core uh pair but uh, no no in the classes seminars, seminars mm -hmm. in english about english but we only had like two of them in a week <laughs> which is a real shame yeah. so i actually mostly what i learned uh, how i learned english is by myself well maybe of course preparing for state exams mm -hmm. and after when i uh, moved to moscow i went to american um cultural center club oh yeah yeah amc mm -hmm. uh which is located which is located just in a building of the american embassy yeah. in moscow it's a really interesting place really cool place because there are many americans are going there mm -hmm. uh, just there are many different uh, events and if you guys gonna be in moscow make sure to visit this place when the COVID is gonna mm -hmm. over because right now they don't work uh because, you know, they almost really welcome to any Americans because there are a lot of Russians who are really interested in the American yeah, culture. And there is uh, there is a place called um, the Library of Foreign Lit Literature. Oh, it's yeah. also located in Moscow and sometimes they uh, hold events um, with representatives of yeah. various cultures. For example, yeah. I attended a finance speaking club, something like that. Mm. 
so yeah and oh, cool. we discussed uh, the finance of the royal family in the uk <laughs> so yeah <laughs> and a lot of people from different cultures came mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh it's pretty i think uh, useful yeah a hint for those who are going to visit in <laughs> moscow okay um coffee more than tea Okay. Well, I'm not really that much of a coffee drinker. I drink it like water <laughs> once uh, in three months. Oh, maybe. really? Yeah. Oh. I prefer to drink water or okay. juice or okay. iced tea. Okay, I drink a lot of coffee. Um, I used to drink it here, not really often. Even though every American I think, family they have mm -hmm. those coffee machines, yeah. which are really like convenient and easy to use. But it, ha it it appeared that here I drink less coffee than I used to do this in Russia, even though we don't have those coffee machines. Mm -hmm. um, try Celestial Seasoning Tea, Red Zinger. Mm -hmm. It's great. Okay, thank you. <laughs> we'll try to find it. Oh, I can actually like, yeah. screenshot it. Okay, thanks. Dasha, have you seen all seasons of France? Yes, I have multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> this is my uh, comfort TV series. Oh, okay. How many times did you like rewatch it? Three times, like oh all my gosh. the seasons, and sometimes I rewatch um, the episodes I like the most. Oh okay. Oh gosh, I don't think I rewatched something like this so First, much. First, I tried to watch it like three years ago, and I did not like it at all. And then I came back to it, and I was just hooked up. Oh okay, okay, interesting. Um. Zach, you should make a video about classic Russian drinks like kvass. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Uh, I think when somebody speaks about classical Rus Russian drinks... They you think of vodka. <laughs> yeah, you think about either vodka, either some kind of alcohol, like, you know, beer. Mm. But I don't drink any alcohol, so and it's kind of hard. Vodka is not really Russian. <laughs> yeah, so... Well, kvass... Well, what else? Uh, what what we, can we say? Like kvass, kisiel, yeah. kampot... Something like solid each meaning. Um, I don't really know. I don't really drink it. <laughs> Me neither. I don't really drink kwas. Yeah, I, I like kwas actually. And uh, kampot. I, I don't mm -hmm. know if they do kampot here. They I don't think so. Maybe like punch? They call it punch here? Mm. Sometimes they call it juice, like cranberry juice. Cranberry juice, okay, you know? yeah. Well, kampot is pretty, pretty not famous, but I mean like... Popular. Popular, yeah. Mm -hmm. My babushka is all the time like making compote. Um, Oklahomas are professional when it comes to dealing with tornadoes. Mm. Oh, really? I didn't know it's popular or it's uh, famous for tornadoes. Mm, well, it makes sense, geographically speaking. Yeah. Because they have like the corridor, the hole between two mountain ranges uh -huh. where the tornadoes come. Oh. In between, yeah. mm, I see. Uh, is the name James a name in Russia? I think it's a Russian for my name, James. Mm. Uh, uh, I think you can spell it like this. Yeah, I think so. But I, um, I think if you go into Russia and if you leave your James, like mm -hmm. y your uh, nickname is written, mm -hmm. it's gonna be fine. Yeah, you can just spell it the ordinary, yeah, like regular James. way. Yeah. yeah. Because I think it's pretty often mm, frequent yeah. name to see. Why are Russians so good looking on the whole? <laughs> you know what? Actually, <laughs> I've got one comment uh, from YouTube. Uh, I was actually really offended by <laughs> why are all Russian <laughs> oh, girls yeah. are so beautiful and all of Russian boys are so ugly. I was like, thank you so much. It was under my video. Oh, I don't know. Actually, it was under... No, it actually was under the video that I had with Natasha from your Russia channel. And there oh were like really goodness. many views and somebody like, why are the girls so good, li good looking and guys are so uh, ugly? I was like, yeah, hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, does Russian despise Japan and embrace China? Mm, I don't truly really respect China. Who? what it has been doing in terms of its politics mm -hmm. and the environmental impact. Yeah. And I think Japan, uh, which is a very 
technologically advanced country and uh, it has a lot of cool features mm-hmm. of its culture yeah. like uh, respect and politeness mm-hmm. so i think that they are great people and I- i'm sure that chinese people are great too it's yeah. just speaking of the government yeah speaking of the government uh i actually have some friends who are studying in china like a couple of friends who after high school they went to china mm-hmm. to study but unfortunately i have no friends who study in japan so it's not it doesn't really show my opinion that mm-hmm. it does just show statistics like yeah but it, uh, i think personally i would actually would like to visit japan mm-hmm. and of course china but firstly japan because <laughs> yeah and i think because i also used to watch some japanese stuff like anime mm-hmm. and stuff so yeah oh min привет uh <laughs> Min, Zahara Dasha, привет. Uh, yeah, it's actual. Min is actually my student to whom I teach Russian, and uh, he speaks Russian. So, Min, привет. Как дела? <laughs> yeah, uh, Daria is. I will leak intellect. We can just tell. <laughs> Stop, guys! You're making me blush. <laughs> Luckily, tornado passed uh, south of Norman. Oh. Um, hell yeah. did some damage to vehicles. We needed the rain and cool times. <laughs> I think like all uh, in Oklahoma, they all have those, you know, insurance for everything because yeah, <laughs> you just, you know, no, have to live this way. The damage is still substantial. Yeah. Yes. Are you two going out for dinner tonight or does your host mom sometimes do cooking for you? <laughs> well, we have a frozen pizza yeah. <laughs> waiting oh, for actually, us. Oh, oh my God, I forgot about it. Well, actually, we'll need to bake it. Uh, mm. Can you like a- answer some questions? Yeah, I'm gonna, sure. I'm going to bake some pizza, guys. <laughs> No problem. Okay, see ya, see ya. I will be taking over for a couple of minutes. <laughs> Just we we got to carry away with you. Um. Uh, okay. Nizhny Tagil is a cool city. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, I think the nature, especially like mm, in the suburbs, is very beautiful. So I would recommend visiting my town if you have a chance to. Good day from uh, Adelaide, Australia, where we are having a seasonal cool spring, more like winter still. Oh, I'm sorry, I hope that you are going to get a warmer weather soon, David. Logistics made... My cooking skills are so great. Oh so my god! I just made it in a couple of seconds. That's incredible. Just magic. <laughs> So there is a, uh, it's, I think uh, it's vegetarian, but it meets with a um, cheese. It's okay. It's Are you fine. Not sure? Yeah, because oh, okay. uh, I eat cheese now. The next comment is uh, logistics made the Russo Japanese war unwinnable. I'm not really that great at history. So I'm sorry, what again? Logistics uh, made uh, the Russian Japanese war unwinnable for Russia. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that uh, there were some problems with geographical position. Uh, yeah, because you know, all, most of the fleet, Russian fleet, uh, military fleet, mm-hmm. was located in the Baltic Sea, and you know it's really hard to send troops to yeah. Japanese seas through the entire planet. So yeah, I think it's one of the problems. Yeah. Uh, uh, what else? Which American movies? Which American movies were super popular in Russia? What is one Russian movie you would recommend to the world? I think um, Marvel movies, oh, the yeah. whole Marvel franchise is extremely popular mm-hmm. now. So yeah. this is basically one of the most mm-hmm. famous mm-hmm. ones. I'm thinking about the Russian movie. Uh, I would say about the uh, American movie, which is so popular. Every New Year, as there is a movie which is called Один дома. I'm, I'm not sure no, how to actually. Home alone. Home, home alone. alone. Yes, it's, it's they home are alone. very popular. Yeah, home alone is really popular in, in mm. Russia, and they like they show it uh, on federal television yeah. every New Year, yep. like every year, <laughs> and so it's really popular. And I think like most of the movies which are popular in the U.S., yeah, they, they are also popular in Russia. in Russia as well, so yeah. we get a chance to see them. Yeah, speaking about Russian movies, it would be maybe a little bit strange decision. But I would say Brat. You know Brat oh, movie? Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, of course, it shows like bad, uh, like no 90s time, which are really crazy times. But it shows it so perfectly. It shows it like, like I feel it. Like I, I, I haven't lived mm-hmm. through 90s. But I still like, well, while watching Brat, 
which is brother in Russian. I just feel it. And there is uh, two parts. I recommend to you watch watching both. What about you? Vasily Vasilievich is changing oh. his profession. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a funny one. It's kind of absurd, but yeah, it's it a Soviet some, one, right? Yeah, it's a Soviet one, and uh, I forgot the name of the one that is that they always release on the New Year uh, mm. when the the, the person Sudania. gets into uh, their own. The Sudanese like, Yeah, yeah, this one. Um, let me actually show it to you. Yep, because this is like. Mm, the classical New Year movie for us. <coughs> oh. Maybe oh. it's not the Svidania. Просто ирония судьбы. Ирония судьбы. Да. Sorry, we were trying to figure <laughs> out the title. Yeah. Um. <coughs> the irony of fate. Yeah. Or enjoy <coughs> your bath. This is the one. It's quite old but it's still atmospheric and I read that the actress did not speak Russian very oh, well oh yeah the actress actually she doesn't really she's Finnish I think yeah so she's from Finland they had to like dub her in Russian yeah which is really strange I mean I think like why they could have they just hired the Russian yeah actress, there are many good actresses I think in Russia but they wanted her to be there yeah. oh yeah that's really like classic. Ah, and movie. I <coughs> heard that they are going to make an American remake of that movie. Oh, really? No. American Look remake? Look at this. Like the center. This one? Yeah. Oh, really? Yes, Emma Roberts is going to star in this one. I don't remember who else. Mm, my god. Yeah. When was it? Like 20, 2021? No, yeah, this is this year. Oh, gosh. <laughs> It's gonna be cool. Uh, wow. Daria, what did your older family members think of you going to America? Zach told us some Russian students had families that did not let them go to America. Mm, I think that my relatives are used to me <laughs> going <laughs> abroad. And they think that this is a great opportunity to improve my uh, English language skills. Yeah. Yeah, so... They are okay with us. It's perfect. And I was lucky to yeah. get such a reaction because I I know too that some students have been having some problems with their yeah. families. Uh, my actually, not friend, but the P person to whom I was chatting during the mm -hmm. applying for this exchange program, uh, we were applying together and mm -hmm. we were preparing for interview together. Mm -hmm. And in the end, uh, she doesn't. She didn't came to the U.S. Come to the U.S. because mm. of her parents didn't love her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is really a shame, because it's a really perfect opportunity. Yep. I mean, like in our Russian society, I think English is one of the is really useful skill. Yeah. In any kind of work, so it's just yeah, it's kind of a shame, but yeah. Uh, well, I've lost comments. I'm sorry. Oh my God, there are, oh yeah. Oh, Samuel, hell, how's it going? Mm. Samuel Martinez, he's always on, on my stream, so I remember oh. him. Hey, what's up? Just wanted to drop to by to say hi to y'all. Nice to meet you, Daria. I'm about to go back to work, given light duty work due to linger, lingering COVID symptom mm -hmm. that causes shortness of breath. Man, stay safe. I hope, uh, are you sure it's COVID actually? Because I remember you was, the last stream you was like, oh, I'm not quite sure it's COVID or something. So stay safe. And Simone. get well. Yeah, get well. Nicholas II was just sainted by the Orthodox Church, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah actually, was. last year. I so. don't remember exactly, but yeah. it was recently, yeah. Yeah, that's right. And I think that the whole family was, mm -hmm. not just him. Yeah. Monday morning, just 11.45 a.m. I'm in the gym before afternoon work sh uh, shift, gym class, can't hear a scene. <laughs> 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 David, I know you can hear a scene, but still, hey, from uh, I think he should be in Australia, because oh, okay. it's already morning, yeah. Monday of morning in Australia. You have a lot of Australian subscribers. Yeah, because of English speaking, yeah. like Canadian. I, uh, actually, I was watching statistics, 
and 42% of my viewers they are Americans mm -hmm. and 8% uh, they are British. Uh -huh. Something like 4 in, or 5% either UK or mm -hmm. Australia. All right now that you told the opinion of the Nicholas II, what is the general opinion of Rus Rasputin, the legend? <laughs> Oh, I actually was... Uh, I, if you want to, you can start. And just There's a lot of mystery about his around his personality. Yeah. And sometimes people mix up some religious stuff with what actually happened. Mm -hmm. And have, like, a formed opinion about him. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I think that uh, his role in the Russian politics is a little bit over... It's, it's inflated. Yeah. Uh, well, I've heard a lot of Rasputin, but the only, like, funny fact... Not fact, but I mean, like, funny theory. Uh, actually, there is a theory that he had some kind of, like, sexual relationships with almost everybody. <laughs> oh, the, yeah. yeah. Uh, I heard about On the, this like, too. Nine, uh, uh, royal family. Mm -hmm. And so, he was actually kind of like proposing the idea that having sexual relationships with him would let uh, those women to get rid of their sins. Mm -hmm. And he was actually crying after every kind of like <laughs> uh, this like event mm -hmm. uh, because he was like, oh no, I'm taking those scenes, I'm crying. <laughs> and so, yeah, I actually read a book about it. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Yeah. So, but speaking about, you know, his influence in politics, yeah, I also think it's kind of, like, ex ex exaggerated, because, yeah. uh, you know, well, yeah, I know that uh, the uh, wife of Nicholas II had a big influence on him. Yeah, and she was heavily influenced by Rasputin, because yeah. she thought that he was able to relieve yeah. the pain of But still, uh, I've heard that many people around Nicholas II, they told him, like, oh, uh, your wife is cheating, firstly, mm -hmm. and Rasputin is trying to... In flat, uh, impact you and mm -hmm. Nicholas II was like, yeah, I know, oh, mm -hmm. I know. So, I'm not quite sure that he was really affecting something for late stages. Maybe to some extent. Yeah. Okay. Um, we have a lot of comments. Yeah. Oh, they actually were chatting with each other here. Oh, okay. they, they already like know each other. <laughs> so I really liked it. Bismarck didn't rule Austro-Hungary like he ruled Prussia and later Germany. Yeah, yeah, there's gonna be, uh, uh, what was the surname of the uh, uh, Germany, Austro-German Empire during those? Um, I forgot. I don't remember either. Um, give me a second. Um... Austria-Hungary? Yeah, um... I, I, yeah, here we go. Mm, yeah. Okay, we guys googling, we're googling. <laughs> You're right. Um... Распад, государственное устройство, правая система, экономика... There is a lot yeah, about the empire. Yeah, we're just looking on Wiki Wikipedia, mm. actually. Yeah. Um, Wait, 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 wait. Okay, uh, while I'm looking... Just, there were a lot of territorial disputes and the borders were always changing. It's hard to yeah. remember the correct name of the period. I heard Jack London was widely read in the USSR because he criticized capitalism. Maybe, but he is relatively popular in Russia still. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard about the capitalism thing, but maybe. Oh, not have streets costing risk. Um, um, Switch into English. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm too sure uh, they can't see this, so anyway. Um, Oh my gosh, I forgot about it. I think there is already an answer in the comments. <laughs> We're gonna check it out. Uh, no, no answers. Don't you remember? By accident? Mm -mm. Uh, no, it's not like this. 
Son los que no tienen el trío de Bravo Wayne, ¿no? Todo raro. That's, that's kind of stupid. Uh, Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna rewatch the whole mm -hmm. documentary about the First mm -hmm. World War just to remember the surname mm -hmm. after the stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Continue. Uh, continue reading the comments. <laughs> I'm trying to find one. Oh yeah, I've seen this. Uh, I think there's gonna be no poker for today. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, me too. Yeah, because it's kind of late. Um, it's okay. We can play another time. Yeah. Uh, With Dasha and mm -hmm. Maya. Yeah, that's right. As Russian, how do you feel when you look at the map of the old Union and realize three years later that the most pro prosperous country the is Estonia? <laughs> 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 Oh my I god, that's funny. I think we're kind of used to it right now. Oh my god, I so miss Estonia being a part of Soviet Union. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is such a pain. I I had those nightmares. No, just, uh, no, I'm personally glad that those countries are achieving great results. Yeah. So yeah. I'm really glad not to be born in Soviet Union. <laughs> so, thank you for Gorbachev. Thanks for Gorbachev. Um, Stephen King is from Maine. Of course, Stephen King is American. <laughs> we, yeah. yeah. Does America confuse you? <laughs> In what way? I don't know, like any kind of way. Uh, well, actually, it confused me for a couple of first days because <laughs> everything is so different and people are so smiley. Mm. So it's kind of confusing. You know what confuses me? Your metric systems. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. It's Fahrenheit, crazy. the pounds. Yeah, it's ounces, they drive it crazy. Everything that comes with it. Yeah, yeah it just you always have to calculate it in your head mm -hmm. or even on your phone. Yeah. So maybe this uh, is the thing. Daria has better vocab than me, and I, I am. I am. Did she just say dystopian? Dystopian, yeah. Dystopian, yeah, oh, yeah, anti-utopia, yeah. Um, I noticed Russians seems to really love guitar. I see lots of Russian people on Instagram playing guitar, and I'm really good at it. I can play drums best and come as you are when you're one on guitar. You know what? Well, well, <laughs> when I was trying to learn guitar, I was trying to learn this. There was only one song actually. It was "Come as you are" by Nirvana. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think it's really popular in Russia, like any it kind is. of guitars. Because, yeah. you know, especially playing it somewhere outside, I mean, like with your friends mm -hmm. or at parties, it's really cool. Yeah. Uh, what's Darius University in Russia? <laughs> well, it's fine. Uh, it's financial university. Yeah. yeah, it's actually a pretty good university. Uh, one of the best, I think. Yeah. Like. Top maybe five or maybe mm. top ten. Okay. Top ten maybe. Yeah. yeah, it's in Moscow. The Russian embassy here in Brazil promoted a Russia week in my university once. <laughs> they gave us traditional food, tea, and teach us a little of Russian chess. Really nice. Mm -hmm. That's how I learned about some of ours. <laughs> well, it's really nice that they have some kind of um, yeah. you know events. Cultural I wonder. Events. I wonder if they have such events here in the U.S. What do you think? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, your list of American authors is broader than a list that could be put together by 95 of your American viewers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in Russia, there is, there is actually a joke in Russia, all, 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 uh, all Americans are stupid. Uh, that's yeah, not true. I, I think, think it goes back to the Cold War. Yeah. It's actually, personally, I read less known American authors, so it's just, um, I cannot sometimes mm -hmm. pinpoint the major ones because I read all yeah. that I can get my hands on. Mm -hmm. Daria, since you mentioned you're vegan, are you also straight edge? Those two ideological theories, uh, theories are often combined because people think a vegan lifestyle is an extinction of drug-free life. 
Do you know? Do you know this? Uh, mm, I uh, don't straight know. Age. Actually, no. I know Straight Age. Uh, I mean, like the whole idea of this uh, kind of movement had people get rid of everything that makes you kind of feel in a natural. Oh, I see. Uh, like they don't drink alcohol, they don't smoke, they don't do drugs, like, and they really like straight edge. <laughs> I don't do drugs, but I think it's okay for people because this is their personal choice. I'm vegan, uh, well, currently vegetarian because I feel sorry for the animals. So this is mostly the ethical reason and the environmental one rather than just something about my body. Mm -hmm. Zach Daria, has your family told you any interesting stories from Soviet times? <laughs> Actually, uh, my family tries to kind of escape those stories when I'm trying to, when I'm asking them to tell. My 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 great great grandmother, she actually trying to escape it, but my mother she doesn't really say I think that much that, mm -hmm. that she knows because yeah. she doesn't really want to shock me or not shock me but I mean like yes. to tell everything that mm -hmm. she knows. What about you? Mm, I don't really have like any funny stories from the USSR. Maybe my uh, granddad always told me about how he would travel to Moscow, which is mm. like more than a thousand miles away from my hometown. Mm. He would uh, get in those long lines of people and wait for like half a day to buy all kinds of candy, meat. Oh my god cheese and then he would bring everything back to our hometown by train so this is so he just went grocery in, in moscow yeah well he had some like business trips mm -hmm. but while doing this he just bought some products that were hard to find mm -hmm. in our region mm -hmm. mm. hi super zach, <laughs> super zach. hi super david how's mm -hmm. it going are any American sports like baseball becoming popular in Russia? Also, what did you think about your time seeing the Minnesota Twins game a while back that you posted on Instagram? Oh, that's a question to mm. me. Um, mm. I really actually liked it, even though ba baseball seems to me a really slow game. I'm used to kind of a fast game because I'm used to play a lot of basketball. I, actually, I even was a member of our CD team, basketball CD team, so I'm used to playing really fast sport games. But I really liked it, I mean, the whole atmosphere, yeah, and how it was managed. Yeah, and uh, speaking about American sports, basketball is already really popular. Uh, baseball, I haven't seen people playing baseball in Russia. Maybe in some, like, private schools they yeah. introduce it. The same goes but for I don't think so. uh, American football, but yeah. it's not commonplace. Oh, I've seen people playing American football, uh -huh. even in my Weird. hometown. Yeah, on um, it was actually... Uh, kind of like out of school oh. I mean like it was just people who uh, kind of like self-organized mm -hmm. people pro playing and they had all the animation yeah. ammunition and stuff yeah. so it was pretty interesting yeah, so maybe it's gaining its popularity in our yeah. country hello it's 3 37 midnight in Germany, no, Germany. oh I'm really sorry <laughs> yeah. yeah all the time actually uh, you know um, how do you call it announcing yeah live streams and I always don't mention Europe <laughs> because it's gonna be like 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. and I was like, guys, no, I'm, I'm really sorry, but I mean, you know, most of my audience is American, so I'm trying to stick with this. Guten Tag? Is it Guten Tag? Guten Tag, it's uh, Guten the morning. Tag. It's a um, uh, morning. I, I, I don't think. remember. So sorry. Guten Tag, I think it's morning. Um, Guten. What's gonna be night in Germany? Nacht. German. Nacht. Da, Guten, Guten Nacht. Nacht. Mm, Xbox or PS? PC. PC. Even though I'm partly German, I don't speak it at all. Oh, really? Yeah. But like 1 16th. Mm, I see. Why? Daria, did Zach really hate the amusement park you and the other girls <laughs> went to? He didn't. Was, really, was he really sick? <laughs> he wasn't sick. Oh my god, I freaking remember this video. You wanna watch this video, guys? Because I should actually I think have he it. He was more confused oh, no. rather than oh, angry. I, del I deleted it. Oh no. <laughs> but he wasn't mad or something like this. Still, it is part of our American experience. Oh, actually, I'm really sorry that I deleted those uh, full videos. Mm -hmm. 
because I was watching and they it were and so funny. I was laughing really. Uh, actually, yeah. I should have this on my camera, but okay, anyway. Uh, San Diego, California, USA, 6.40 p.m. Mm. Well, not that late as here. Yeah. Berlin is cold now, I want San Diego with <laughs> beach. <laughs> Oh, I want to go to Berlin someday. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I've only been to Dresden, which is on the oh, border really? with the Czech Republic. Oh, gosh. Hi, Zach and Daria. Have either of you watched the sat sat satirical comedy The Death of Stalin? Uh, I, st I did not finish it. Mm, mm. I it haven't started. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I've only seen, like, the fragments, so I cannot give an opinion about it, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Actually, I heard it, but I didn't start it to watch it. Um, Russia, the People of Freedom Union, is this part no longer? Or there is a People of Freedom Union? Maybe like a party? Yeah, maybe a party, but I, I don't really... I don't remember it. I don't, I don't know what's party. I know most of the parties in Russia, even small ones, but this one seems pretty strange. I don't think so. Mm. It's nice to see Zach and its audience likes history and not the only nerd here, lol. <laughs> we are all nerds nerd. here. Welcome to the Nerd Club. Yep. Um, I've always heard Russian hair is the most coveted. What's coveted? Mm, for wigs, because... Mm, most convenient? Oh, uh, cover, maybe it was like uh, Shosky. Like, I don't think so. I, my hair is really. I don't really. I don't use any conditioner and I haven't used it in any time. Maybe because of it, my, my hair is trash, so. Maybe. That's actually a really interesting scene. I never heard about it. <laughs> there is no such word. Oh, really? So maybe it's a misprint. Okay, um, Zach, Daria, I love how knowledgeable Russians are about history. You guys know so much and have inspired me to learn more about Russia. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, well, that's so our sweet. history knowledge is not perfect. Yeah, uh, it, it's, I, 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 start, I, I finished like learning Russian history in 11th grade mm -hmm. after preparing for state exams. Yeah. So, yeah, and I, I kind of forgot many things from there, so. Yeah, I was planning on revising yeah the same the same actually we have studied before yeah because there is a lot to cover when it comes to russian history because it's really diverse and long yeah time to make the important questions guitar or balalaika <laughs> hmm. oh gosh have you played uh have you like handled balalaika just no. you know in your hands i think guitar is no, I like holding it better than I do balalaika. Yeah, and then on guitar you can play uh, more... A lot of things. Yeah, di diverse things. Yeah. So, yeah, guitars. Uh, is there is meat on the pizza? <laughs> Everybody... <laughs> uh, we have we had two different kinds yeah. of pizzas. The one with meat and the one is uh, not vegan but vegetarian. 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 Oh, vegetarian sounds like Mediterranean. <laughs> Mediterranean, yeah. yeah. Vegetarian. Which is not vegetarian <laughs> yeah. at all. Um, as an American, I know that Moscow is modern and Vladivostok has a lot of people in it, but the land between is vast. vast. Are there people living on farms between, or is it sparsely populated? Mm, there are some huge towns in Siberia, so it's it depends on the climate, I think, mm -hmm. because some areas are just... Mm, you cannot really farm anything there, mm -hmm. so because soils are too cold. Uh, so it depends on the landscape, but still there are quite a lot of huge towns. Mm, yeah, and I in think the central part there are no such big farmer farmers as yeah. it used to be. Um, I think even in the US they have more farmer rain than in yeah, Russia. Yeah, you do because uh, our. Mm, food production is more like mm, it's not individualized it's mostly mm -hmm. factories hmm. mm. would you say most of Russians 
would be familiar with the book One Day in the Life of Ivan Denisovich. Oh, um, Other books by Alexander Solzhenitsyn. Yeah. Uh, I think that at least a couple of his books are included uh, in our literature syllabus. Well, at least one. But the thing is that it constantly, constantly gets banned and then they yeah. <laughs> get it back there. And so some generations might not be familiar with this. But... Uh, people who lived in the Soviet Union, I think that they know yeah. this book. I just noticed in a couple of last years, our government kind of trying to... Um, Censor? I didn't get it. <laughs> censor? Like, to put censorship on... Uh, yeah, yeah, censor, uh, or, you know, kind of like speaking about Soviet Union, they try not to um, make it like, oh, the biggest evil yeah. on the planet. And it used to be like even if, if you compare f uh, military films from the like, the start of two thousand, yeah. and right now military films, right now they show like They're Stalin. Way more patriotic. Yeah, yeah, and they show Stalin as a really powerful and really brave mm -hmm. man, which is, you know, I don't really think so. Yeah. And it kind, I think, kind of is just profitable for the government. Yeah, this of is course. why they do this. Um, Alexander Solzhenitsyn, yeah, correct. Yeah. What do you think about Russian Formula One driver Nikita Matsipi? <laughs> uh, I actually don't really watch Me Formula either. One, so I don't, I don't, I have no, I no ideas. <laughs> I Sorry. didn't know that some Russian people participated in that. Yeah. Uh, Zach, if you come to Komsomolsk, can you, uh, I interview? If I come to Komsomolsk, can I interview your mom, grandfather? David, of course. Mm -hmm. You just need to text my mom. Uh, mm -hmm. Just DM me on Instagram. Actually, my mom pretty cool woman, but she doesn't really know English. So you need to learn some Russian. Or to have a person with you. Or Zach and... Oh, yeah. Like... yeah. <laughs> it's going to be really weird. You know, Zach from the US, like, uh, on the but... FaceTime. But still, yeah. Um, just DM me. My, my mom is a really friendly person. So if you visit Kamsamoysk, of course... Um, Zach, have you ever heard of the Easter Urals radioactive trail? Been a nation with lots of secret military reactors and nuclear power plants? What's your opinion on this matter? Eastern Urals radioactive Ural. trails. Maybe if I heard this in Russian, I would actually know about it, but I have no idea. Um. Do you know about it? No, even though it is supposed to be my region. <laughs> I know that there are some mm, nuclear plants currently functioning, mm -hmm. mm, like Chelyabinsk. Oh, I see. Yeah, so, but yeah, I, I haven't really heard about this trail. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know that they have some mm, like nuclear landfills in Moscow that they have buried, and now oh, they yeah. are trying to build new buildings over yeah. this landfill. <laughs> So yeah. this is all I know. <laughs> um, my translator says coveted, Jelani. Coveted, coveted. Uh, do you remember it like, yeah. I don't. <laughs> I think it's, it, it's too far. Um, oh, uh, it was the other person, okay. I don't know, Jackson. Oh, I was trying, uh, showing looking for his um, mm -hmm. avatar. Yep. Uh. Yeah. No. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Anyway. Sorry, we lost it. Okay, it's a new word. Mm, I've heard about an entire underground military city near Krasnoyarsk, called Krasnoyarsk 27, now, now called Zelenogorsk. Yeah. Uh, actually, I was reading a book by Viktor Suvorov, who is kind of like an unusual historian, who is really criticizing our government right now. And um, he almost... He all, uh, all, all of his books are about Soviet Union. And he actually uh, mentioned this city. Um, well, actually, like the whole idea that Stalin wanted to create underground city in case of the uh, nuclear war, yeah. after the Second World War, uh, and to kind of like m rule the country uh, from there. Mm -hmm. 
but and they were building building it, but uh, he just died and didn't have time to. <laughs> Why would finish you it. want to rule a country that does not exist anymore because <laughs> yeah. of the nuclear explosion? Yeah. Um, there is like a, an an entire uh, a separate subway system that uh, Stalin was supposed to use in Moscow. Yeah, I've heard about it. Yeah. My grandfather worked at Boeing, Seattle, and built airplanes for the Soviet Union when the Germans invaded. I know oh. that Boeing is still working with Russian airlines. Oh, really? Yeah, because you mean like with the military? Yeah, now? I have uh, an American friend who is a, who used to be a Boeing engineer, and he was relocated uh, to Russia. Oh, really? So he worked in Russia for like several years. Oh, actually, like. Um, in my hometown, we have a really one of the biggest aircraft uh, factories in mm -hmm. Russia, which produce like Su-27, uh -huh. like those firefighters, and Su uh, super jet, like Sukhoi and stuff. And uh, I haven't heard that they have some kind of relationship with Boeing. It's really interesting, like how they actually cooperate. Uh, maybe they have some kind of relationships with the Aeroflot, or yeah, just I think providing uh, aircraft for Aeroflot and just you know. And servicing them, yeah. Um, have you seen Connery Jane's Bond film from Russia from Love 1963? Ah, from Love? Or you don't like the old James Bond, Bond, Bond films? James Bond. I haven't watched it, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I watched all of the James Bond, but not this one, because it was kind of old. I need to watch it, it's interesting. From Russia with Love. Oh, from Russia, I think it's with Love, not yeah. from Love. Wait, is Solzhenitsyn still banned in Russia? Sometimes. Mm, um, it's just there is an ongoing debate on whether they yeah, should include it in our yeah. curriculum or not. So So he's not totally banned. Yeah, this is he's not totally banned, but there is a debate about whether it's suitable to include his yeah. works. Uh Daniel Quad is the best. Daniel Quad uh, is the best F1 driver. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got it. Okay, we'll read the whole comment. I highly recommend watching the Beyond the Grid podcast episode featuring him. He is a misunderstood but likable driver. I think F1 is the worst of without him. Okay, some Russians having some kind of conflicts yeah. in any kind of fields. Okay, it's a nice start. Привет, United States. Как дела? Все хорошо из United States. Airflot, S7, Победа и Россия are all Russian airlines that operate Boeing airplanes, but they register the planes in Italy, Ireland, or Bermuda to avoid tariffs. Oh, really? Didn't know that actually. <laughs> Interesting. So they, uh, most of the aircraft they registered outside of Russia. <laughs> That's funny. Boeing built planes for USSR as part of the land lease program during the Second World War. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah, of course, we heard about land lease. Okay. So, I guess that's... Yeah, I guess that's it, yeah. Uh, we managed them. Yeah, just one more. I'll need to check it out. If we have... Okay, yeah, that's it. Okay, guys, I think this is it for today's live yeah, Thank you live very stream. much for staying with us. Thanks, Daria, for um, being here today. It's a pleasure. Yeah, it was pretty random, I mean, the whole live stream, yeah. but I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. I think we streamed for almost three hours. Yeah. It's Unstoppable. Uh, yeah, like, before having a YouTube channel, I was like, oh, how, do you, how can you, like, speak for a couple of hours <laughs> without stops? But right now, it doesn't really seem a matter, so, yeah. Once again, thank you so much. Uh, you we, we will be here like uh, for a couple of more mom moments for you guys to say bye bye. Cause thanks bye bye. <laughs> yeah, Andres. Um, I well, love Brad, Brad, especially when Danila says, "You Americans, soon your country you will go down." <laughs> I laugh every time. <laughs> yeah, thanks guys for being here once again. Thank you so much for those who donated yeah, some money. Yeah. We're gonna eat healthy, we're gonna re-elect <laughs> Putin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a joke. Good night, I've learned a lot from you. Mm. Hyunden, you're welcome. Mm. Stay tuned. Oh, our camera actually got down just in the last moment, actually. Mm. Yeah, my phone actually, uh, I have my uh, web camera on my phone and it got just 
we end. It's not start <laughs> soon. It can it can actually uh, ends soon. Okay, guys, one more time. Thank you so much for being here, and you know, see you. Yeah, Stay thanks, tuned for guys. next video. There's gonna be a video about my life at college or my day at college. Uh, I don't think I don't remember if there's gonna be Dari appearing in this video. I don't think so. Yeah, well, there is actual Dash appearing. Yeah, it's a crazy, yeah. it's a crazy party girl. <laughs> so stay tuned. Uh, yeah, and see.